that song would have lasted way longer. That's not the meme I want to show. That's what I want to show. There we go. Hey guys, welcome to the stream. Uh, it's been a uh, it's been a weird day. I took a nap, thinking, oh, I'm, I'm I had all the time in the world to to set up. Spoilers. I <laughs> I took a nap. I woke up. There was about like thirty minutes until I went live, and I was like. Well, <laughs> I didn't make a promo, I did nothing. So I tweeted, and I was like, hey, going live in a bit. <laughs> live now. And then I ordered some water, because, turns out, I ordered some mozzarella sticks, because I was like, you know, haven't had that in a while. Oh, boy, don't. <laughs> I didn't, I don't think that did good with my stomach, but I'm better now. Took some Tums, drinking some water. You know, just just trying to hang in there. Um, not really much to update on news-wise. I mean, Orange is sick, so if you happen to stop by and tweet at him, hope he feels better. Um, I don't know. It's been a freaking weird day. Hey, everyone, welcome to the stream. Let's see. We got Squid. We got Sean. We got Lump. We got Retro uh, Seti Donkey. Math, Mathurup, what, what, Mathurup. Uh, how I'm, I'm okay. I'm just making sure my, my gut doesn't kill me. You know, being an adult, eating some moz sticks, tie your bowel into a pretzel knot, door dash some freaking water so you can. <laughs> yeah, crazy, right? Because drinking the tap water where I'm at is just not good. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm living the streamer dream, as they would say. Yeah. I mean, I bought ginger ale, but turns out ginger ale doesn't really do much for your stomach, so I'm not drinking that. <laughs> I'm saving that for tomorrow, because I haven't had a ginger ale in forever. Anyway, uh, I said I was going to do some off-stream grinding. That's a lie. I did not do any off-stream grinding, because yesterday I was like, you know what? Maybe I should be a little more physical, so I went out for a walk. So, drinking a milkshake, that's honestly pretty good. If I drank a milkshake, that would me, gosh, that would make me probably more sick. <laughs> that would probably make me more sick because it's like, I can have dairy, but if I know I get a milkshake, that is going to ruin my gut. A hundred percent. I literally told dupes in the stream that you were going to be the only one there because you had to, because you had to grind. Dude. I got, like, weirdly sick yesterday. I was just like, I'm gonna grind. Then my body was like, haha, don't, don't grind now. And I'm like, why? And it's like, you need to go outside and work your heart. And I'm like, I guess you're right. So I walked out late at night around my neighborhood, no one around. Then I came home and then I was just like, oh no, my throat is scratchy. Do I have COVID? And then I was like, nope, you have allergies. Now go to bed. And I was like, okay. And I took a nap because I was like, oh, I can grind before stream. That, that didn't happen either. I took a nap. I'm I'm a very tired individual. So you're Ninten. I don't know. Ninten has, like, asthma. But I just have allergies. You know, I wouldn't surprise me if I had asthma. My mom has it. Just as Ninten did. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I'm doing fine now. I can breathe just fine. Like, I had to be sure it wasn't, like, COVID symptoms. And I didn't want to, like, be like, oh, geez, I have to go get tested or whatever. But I don't have a sore throat. Um, yeah. But other than that, I'm feeling better now. I can breathe. It was just, like... Oh, yeah, I also take it to the fact I took a nap. I forgot to put on my CPAP. Fun fact, kids. I have sleep apnea. So I'm, like, all kinds of... I'm all kinds of sick. Not sick, just weird health conditions. So, mostly all the answer to these questions is just exercise. Hey, I just got diagnosed with sleep apnea. CPAP sucks. Dude, the CPAP kind of sucks, but you you get used to it. I've been... I've had it since high school, so I, I caught it at an early age. My my dad noticed I was snoring That uh, at a camping trip, and then they were like, oh, man, son, you weren't breathing in your sleep. I was like, what? <laughs> so I went to get tested, and then they're like, yeah, you need a CPAP, and I'm like, okay, 
Fair enough. I mean, no one sleeps with me, so this is great. I sleep alone every night. Ah, oh, this water's good. Good for the stomach. Needed some good water. But yeah, enough uh, dinking around. We're gonna play some <laughs> Forever Alone Face. You stop that. <laughs> Okay, let me load up Steam. Let's get the let's get the game running. Let's 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 do the fun stuff. Also, I want to show off that fan art that dupes did last time. <laughs> what brand? It better not be Dasani. Dasani? Are you kidding me? No, I got Smart Water like an idiot. I got Glacio Smart Water, and I just get like regular like filtered water. The closest one was like the Seven Eleven, so I got like a pack of wa like purified water. If I bought, like, freaking Fuji water, I would have hated myself. I, I was like, there's no way I'm doing that. I drink Dasani because I love sodium-infused water that sustains my thirst. Gosh. Uh. <laughs> Bleh. <laughs> uh, it's just... Trust me. It is better than what the tap water offers where I'm at. I'm not buying Fuji water. If I bought Fuji water, I'd hate myself forever. <laughs> there would be no way I'd buy Fuji water. That's like the most stereotypical, like, wow, let's look at the aesthetic. I bought Fuji water. <laughs> I'm like, why? Why did you buy Fuji water? Oh, is my display capture not working? No, it is. Good, good. Please subscribe to Cat and Coco Charms to maintain his Fuji addiction. <laughs> I'm thinking of that um, video. What was it? It was the uh, pastor who was talking, and he was just like, "I have to take care of my addiction." Well, um, my Diet Coke addiction. And then the end of the shot is just him slamming the table, and it just ends abruptly. Freaking love that video. Let's fix the uh, display here. I know my game capture is hacked, it's because the Steam version is like, hey, we know you put it on full screen, but guess what, nerd, we're gonna put it on windowed again, and I'm like, why? Why do you do this? It, it, it made me mostly upset whenever Steam does this, so... Yeah, luckily the easy fix is just go to display, full screen, and it's all, it's all better. It's... yeah. Actually, is this audio too loud for me? Because I don't want to sound like I'm vocally yelling while I'm... Nope. Hold on. I'm going to lower the audio just a teeny bit. Alright, we good. We good. Neat. Just as the song ended, too. Perfect timing. Oh, we have, like, no SP. <laughs> That's right. Uh, no... I can keep grinding. Please subscribe to Captain Coco Matt so he so he can finance his addiction to dried ground up Jack Frost bath. Stop! <laughs> that's no. <laughs> that's that's no good. Don't do that to my son. Uh, we'll we'll see how much further I can get on the dungeon, because I got the key. So my only guess is I have to start from floor one again, because I got everything. But now it's like I missed that one floor, so I'm gonna have to like. Bathwater, the bathwater talk should be an insta ban. I didn't say subscribe. Oh, you said subscribe. Wow, I goes to show I read very well. Jack Frost is living frozen gamer girl bathwater. That includes you. <laughs> I can't help it if chat is gonna be the one talking about it. Oh my gosh. I would go to six, but I can't progress without a key, and I know it's gonna be in another room, so I have to start from the beginning. This dungeon stinky. I hate it. I don't know why it exists. Let's just get some more money. I'm with my mic close. Don't let it get away. Wait, ah man. <laughs> That's not what I should have been attacking. Now never mind. Ouchie. Ouch. Ouch. Come on, why do you keep missing? <sighs> oh 
Oh my gosh, it ran away. Who would have thought? Who would have thunk? Who would have thought that would happen? Squid, uh, yes, I, I do agree with that, but I'm not going to read any more chat messages about bathwater. I'm sorry. <laughs> and no, you're fine. I don't mind when people talk about it as like a joke, but I know some people are uncomfortable with it, so I'm just not going to talk about bathwater anymore. As, as funny and goofy as it is. Uh, and watch as I say this in like the next few streams, I mention it again and I'm like, dang it. <laughs> Wow, great moves, dude. I probably wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. Yep, screw it. I'm just gonna rush it. Ouchie. Go get him! Go, go, go! Oh, nice move, Yosuke Senpai! Hooray! Aw, oh, you know what? Let's just recover some of that. Belle Delphine is kind of hysterical. Yeah! I don't know much about her other than her crazy escapades of what she did. I finished my milkshake and I feel bad. <laughs> don't feel bad. Uh, here we are. No! I pushed A! Why?! And I got a homunculus, alright. Okay, real talk. If you were to find a homunculus an in, a, like, a treasure chest, how would you react? How would you react, chat? You open a chest and then there's a homunculus inside and you're like, oh. What is it? Let's go to Moe! Yes! Jesus, 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 you're so cool! Kill. What's it look like? I don't know, it just says homunculus. To use your imagination of what a homunculus might look like. How to spell ho- Oh dear. <laughs> yes, senpai, that was- I did nothing, that was all chie. That's some thick skin. Sure is. Screw it. I would put the homunculus in a Death Stranding BB container and take it with me anywhere. I have pr issues picturing this since D&D has shown me there's several kinds, I see. Uh, just give me a chest key. I know there's a chest I found earlier. All right, senpai. Level 50! We're halfway there! I would just say wow a homunculus. Hey Zach, welcome to the stream. I'm level 50, that means I'm halfway of being 100. I'm almost there. That means I've been playing this game for a long time now. I sure have. Well, we're not going ahead. It would be epic if we all went to McDonald's or the Homunculus Burger. <laughs> Sean, I feel like you make that McDonald's joke every time. In my brain, it's like, oh, I, I shouldn't laugh at that. But every time you make that McDonald's joke, I always get a chuckle. Like, it shouldn't be funny, but it is. Hmm, watch it. That one's immune to fire. It's my favorite joke. It's like uh, Frankie's joke, where it's like, wow, nice hat. I like his hat. Keep going, guys. We all have a joke we love. I feel the same way. It's not a good joke, but it makes... Yeah, there's so many jokes out there that I just laugh at, even though I know it's not funny. I have to, like, really think. What's my favorite joke? That's a good question. Um... I don't even think it's funny, but I think the phrase that every time something awkward happens and everyone's just kind of like, eh, whatever, and then someone's just like, ah, oh, we have fun here. It's stupid. <laughs> it's really stupid, because... Oh boy. I don't know. I always say we have fun here. Even though some people are like, no we don't. <laughs> it's an easy to go to thing, even though it's not a joke. But I think I really do need to think about like what joke I find Because there's like some jokes I'll like latch onto forever, but then I forget about it, and then when I remember it, I'm like, oh yeah. I laugh at that. Looks like that one Keep it up, Sensei! Oh my gosh. Go get him. Go go go. Anyway. Go up to a and assist person and tell them, hey, nice name, did your mom pick it out for you? This is a good joke. 
sure. I'm, I guess I get it. Sorry, you have to explain some jokes to me. Like I said, I'm not I'm not as smart as the average person. The running gag among my friend group is playing the Onision's meltdown out of nowhere on a Discord music board. <laughs> oh. I have a story about him, but it's not really my story. It's a, a story with my uh, friend Alyssa. Yeah, he, she she thought he was just like a mega weirdo, and he was talking to her, and she was like, "Well, not talking to you anymore." There is a shadow in here too. Cis, cisgendered, like not trans, MB, otherwise genderqueer, because people who are not cis often don't go by their birth. Oh. Okay, I get it. Interesting. I get the joke now. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm not laughing, because it's just like, I'm trying to like understand it, you know? It's just like, oh, okay. I get it now. Like, I don't know. Oh gosh, why did I do that? Use your persona, be funny. That did nothing. Let people pick their own name. Absolutely. If people want to go by like a different identity, go for it. No problem with that. It's like the whole schoolyard bully going, nice clothes, did your mom pick them out for you joke. I don't know, the thing about that joke, about like, nice clothes, your mom pick them out for you, I think about that episode from The Simpsons, where Bart is out in his PJs, and it's like, ah, nice one, Simpsons, your mom get it for you? And it's like, well, yeah, who else would? And then it was like, alright, Simpson, you win this round. That's what made it funny. Now that was funny. Because if someone's like that, it's like, well, yeah, my mom did pick out my clothes for me, what's wrong with that? It's weird to think that someone else picked my name, but I feel no compulsion to change it, but dang, such a big part of my identity that I didn't control- Yeah, that- yeah, that- okay, that is interesting to consider. The thing about my name, though, it's technically I don't really go by my first name, I go by my middle name because that's what I responded to as a kid, and then my parents were like, oh, he responds to his middle name, so we'll go with Whoa, that, there. so... That I do have a first name, but I just don't disclose it out because I use it for my job, and I don't let my friends know it unless they really want to know. But yeah, so my middle name is Matt, or Matthew, but I don't go by my first legal name because I don't recognize it. When someone calls me by name, like my legal name, I don't respond, and then when I remember, oh yeah, that's my name, I respond to it, so yeah, that's kind of how it went with me, at least. Oh my gosh! I sure am. Sure am. On a roll. Yeah, we'll just bap. There we go. It's just funny to, like, turn that on its head and make it be about, like, identity, because so many people just sort of exist as the identity that they had since birth and don't think about it and never question anything, even though it isn't something they choose. Turn the bully joke on its ear, I mean. Okay. Alright. That's, yeah, okay, I get it. I don't know. For me, it's just that joke of just like, how did your mom buy that for you? Kind of ideal. It's just sort of like, well, yeah, my mom did buy it for me. I mean, who else would buy my clothes at my age? But yeah, I, I get the joke. Careful. It's immune to electricity. Good thing I'm using wind, stinky. Two enemies Don't down. Get cocky. Good going, Yosuke Senpai. Oh, I'll get cocky, all right. I'm Yosuke. Look at me go. Keep it up, Senpai. Two defeated. <clears throat> Boy. Water. Or on its head, or whatever word I used. It's okay. We mix up words. It's okay. Give me more money, please. Thank you. Ugh. Alright. 
Okay, is there any other secret doors I'm missing, or can I pass on this floor? Because I don't want to miss nothing. I also need the EXP as much as possible. Be careful! There's an enemy immune to fire. Immune to fire? I can just bap all of them. Watch this. <laughs> See, it did nothing. Go for it, guys. Hang in there. So, who's next in line for a stomping? A bapping, a bopping, a booping, a sp spanking. No, no spanking, please. Don't. No, we will not allow spanking in our team. We will be very upset. A wallop, as you will. Give all the shadows a good old wallop. A good old, good old smack in the face. I just got a dumb tune stuck in my head just now. Like, I didn't think about it, but it just... It was a weird barrage of, hey, remember this on TV? And I'm like, oh gosh, maybe. And it went back to my head. Does anyone remember the hit Wonder on TV when Nickelodeon did the Nicktoons Summer Beach House? And they just did marathons and marathons of cartoon, and they had that tune that always went in between? I don't know why I remembered that, but I just did, and I got hit, and now I'm, the enemy's gonna freaking boot my booty. I don't like this. Be careful. There's an ice immune enemy. <sighs> How does the tune go? Oh, I have to remember, it's just like... What was it? <laughs> what was the tune? It was like, we're here to It's like, we're here tomorrow and we'll see you soon at the Nicktoon Summer Beach House. It was, it was like a Beach Boys parody kind of deal. It was freaking weird. And they would air like Spongebob, but all I remember is like whenever the, the segment would end before it went to like Nick at Night, they would sing about the Nicktoon Summer Beach House. And I was always there for the summer because I had nothing else to do. You found it? No, I'm not playing it on stream, but gosh. Yeah, click that link, I believe. You just awoke a memory very deeply embedded. I did. I don't know why I thought of that, but it just came to me. You know how, like, in That's a Raven, when she, when Raven has a vision? Like, my eyes just darted. I looked at my, like, merch, and then it zoomed into my eyes. And I remembered a tiny me sitting in this living room watching uh, Nickelodeon. Oh, seriously? It was, a. <laughs> you just awoke a repressed memory in me for once, and it wasn't a traumatic one. I'm glad. I don't want to bring up tragic memories for people. Another shadow in the box. Wowie zowie. Hmm, watch it. That one's immune to fire. Comments oh, are turned oh, off. I let my guard down. <laughs> What do you mean comments are turned off? People can still chat. On the video. Oh. <laughs> oh, on the video. I was wondering. I was like, what? Teddy, you will never be mature. I'm 27 years old. I don't think I'll ever mature. Oh, gosh. Fully restores one ally. Do I really need it? Moderately. Revive an ally with 50%. That's more better. This one fully restores. I mean... That is better than that. How old is Teddy anyway? Um, based on my playthrough, since we've been a month, I say Teddy is a month old. That's how old they see him in my eyes. He's a month old. I've been playing this game for a month. Uh, Revise ally 50%. Yeah, but Diaron does full. He's pretty intelligent for a month old. He sure is. All right, level up. Oh boy. <sighs> Based on your reaction, AK, if you got the joke, I was saying most of my repressed memories are trauma, and you found one that wasn't. I, don't, I didn't think it was a joke. I, you just brought it up, and I just realized, yeah, every time I mention something, you come in the chat and you'd be like, hey, don't mention that. And I'm like, okay, I won't, because I want to be considerate and kind. Because I don't want to bring horrific memories to everyone. So I wasn't joking, I was being serious. Oh, you were taking a piss on your... I see. I see. 
Okay. Please be aware, chat, if I don't get the joke the first time, it, 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 and if I don't react, that may be why you're like, wait a minute. Did Matt get the joke? I'll be like, maybe not. I don't know. Like, I, like I've said in many streams, I'm a bit of a stupid man. I, I have so much to learn. And no, I won't go back to college because I dropped out of it. It was a whole different reason why I dropped out of college. It's not because of, oh, learning's boring. No, learning's good. Learning is like the most important thing to do. It's just the university I went to didn't have the stuff that I wanted to do for my major. So I was just like, well, I got nothing there. But if you're all still going to school, keep, uh, finish up. Uh, definitely consider. Dropping out's not for everyone. Now's our chance. You ready? Okay. Out of our way. Yay. I beat a rock. The rock is dead. School's not for everyone. Dropping out's not for everyone. Exactly. Exactly that. <laughs> Dwayne, no. <laughs> the thought of college terrifies me. I wouldn't say college is the scariest thing. It's a lot more alleviating. Uh, what was it? Yeah, it's a lot more alleviating than regular high school because I noticed a difference. It's just the only thing is I had to be very responsible of like how I used my time in college. It wasn't so bad. It just I realized it really wasn't for me in the long run because all the skills I wanted to apply, I already kind of learned it from my classes by myself. Oh yeah, I'll use fire. Here we go. So, Matt, I had a horrible idea when I saw you didn't have a promo. Take you laughing at the so H.H. Greg green screen thing and auto-tune it to Daft Punk's song from that... <laughs> I'd be fine with that if you if you happen to make that. I, I'd i okay it. I love, I love that Daft Punk song. I had to drop out from bullying and being an outcast. Oh, man, that sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah, like I said, the school... The school system, like in any kind of general thing, like... It's definitely not for everyone, but if you're able to make do with what you can, that's great. Like, my dad teaches uh, online university classes, and I don't think he does it much anymore because now he's doing, like, a different line of work, but he has a degree and he has a doctor. Like, my dad's a very smart guy, and he's he really loves to work, but I'm a very opposite person from my dad. But the thing is, I didn't mind college much. I got good grades. I did stuff, but... When I realized I needed to, like, sustain a job to get money, and then I had to work at the same time, it's just I couldn't process those two things, so it just didn't work. The main thing about college is that it's a very unique social environment that's hard to prepare for. Nothing like it beforehand, and real life after is very different, too. Exactly. Also, like, gosh, I feel like so often lately I've been either talking about my personal issues or joking about my personal issues, and I don't really want to drag the stream down, and I feel bad. I just want to hang out with friends. It's fine. It's just... We all have... We're all going through weird stuff right now. Like, some people vent it through different ways. Some people do it on chat. Some people do it on Discord, like, servers. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not bothered by much. Like, if people need a vent, go ahead, vent. I mean, I probably won't read those comments half the time because I don't want to put the stream down, too. But definitely just be aware of your surroundings and just remember that... Yeah, we're all we all have a lot of tough stuff going on too, so I just stream just try to make things happy. Like I know that my life is it's fine now. Like it's definitely not like the, where I want to be at this very moment, but I have a job, I'm able to stream for fun and people want to come by and watch and they enjoy my stupid reactions to whatever happens and I think that's great. I think that's neat. And I'm happy that people like to stop by and be me, see me be terrible at video games. <laughs> oh boy, I, sh I got a key! Great, let's open that. A steed strap. That's... Hmm. Horse. Horse. This, this stream and being able to hang out with everyone here has definitely been a bright spot, though. Yeah, definitely. I know people... Uh, what was it? Um, what was what was their name? It was uh, Chai on Twitter. 
Um, she was talking to me, and she was just like, Hey, I'm glad you backed up the VODs and did all this stuff. It was because they needed to listen to something while they worked, and then they said because of all the clips and streams and stuff they saw through Twitter and stuff, they were like, I'm definitely going to be watching those VODs while I work, and I'm glad that people are able to just find some joy, even though they're like old streams and stuff. Like, they want to see me react to this Careful, game that everyone seems to really love. Like, I like this game too. I really like this game. It's been like... I never thought I would stream a long RPG because I was thinking, ah, oh, that might get boring pretty fast, but... Given how everyone is like to watch, listen, watch while they work and do whatever, it's... It's, it's great. I like it. I always watch this you while working because it's nice for it. that. Yeah, Teddy, Here let's do I it. Go. It's why I tend to dip in and out in chat because I'm listening, even though I'm not Just super say active. The word and yeah. it's bear, time. bear time? Okay, Teddy, I've never heard you say this before. Could you? Alrighty. Is everyone ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Time for some pain. Go, beat him up. <sighs> but yeah. The long RPG is cool because I can follow your playthrough like a story even if I already played your game. Your playthrough is a unique, cool experience. Yeah. Can't really do much now since I'm mostly just grinding for the day. Let's get another chess key. But I know my choices make a weird... It makes your stream an anime. <laughs> an anime. Sure. Where's dupes when you need him? Oh, that's right. Um, I think he's getting a special visit from uh, Evan Butler or something. Because Evan Butler's traveling around the world, and he he mentioned a he sent me a message saying hey, I might stop by your state, and I'm like, why? <laughs> why are you traveling? And he's a mystery man, so I better have a face mask ready and be. He's traveling during COVID. I, Looks like Evan's going to die <laughs> unless he's driving his own car, I guess. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what Evan's doing. I just know he's in California, like, near that area, and I'm like, why? Why is he in California? I don't know. I I could not tell you why. Yeah, if someone were to tell me, like, I'm in California, tell him to come visit, I'll, I'll let him know. I'll let him know. I know in an earlier chat he was just like, I'm not gonna visit you anymore, Matt, and I'm like, that's fine, like, if you don't, like, I get it. Even though I know he's probably joking, but if he doesn't, I wouldn't be surprised. Ah, oh, jeez. He needs to interview me for my- Mother of the Earth is done! <laughs> Most of the movie's basically done. Unless they want to add another interview, but I doubt it. It's- it's a finished film. It's not done to the Blu-rays in my hand, that's true. Uh, we're trying to get the movie rated right now. Like, we send it into that... Well, bap. I bapped him. Looks like that one's immune to win. If it's not NC-17, I'm getting a refund, no! Uh... Whoa! Alright, Teddy. There it is. Shuffle time. What the? Uh, give me some money, please. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I'm trying to think of anything interesting happened with friends recently. Hey, another treasure chest. I need to open. Yeah, we'll just uh, bum rush. Watch it. That one's immune to fire. Well, good thing that nothing happens to me. Oh, senpai, that was so cool. That was Teddy that did the ad whatever. It wasn't me. Beat it to a pup. I did it. I done did it. Oh yeah. Speaking of video games, since we're playing one. Anyone see that cool announcement by uh, Team Reptile? I got another seed strap, what the heck? I meant the guy missing it. Oh, okay, I was fast forwarding. She was calling you cool for dodging. Yeah, basically not Jet Set Radio, or as it's called, um... Something Rush... The Game. I'm forgetting the name, but... 
Basically, Jet Set Radio the game. I'm very ex Mighty Number Jets. Oh no, I don't like that name. Um, <laughs> Jet Set Radio, no. <laughs> yeah, friggin' Lethal League. That's a game I want to play on stream with a friends. Like, I want to do multiplayer. Um, if y'all haven't played Lethal League, I highly recommend you should play it, because I played the original one, and Blaze is out. I still need to buy Blaze, oh my gosh. I should have bought it during the Steam sale. Let's play. Dude, Lethal League is just a really cool dodgeball Smash Brothers game. Like, I, I adore it. It is, like, one of my favorite games. Jet Stained? <laughs> Jet Stained Curse of the Moon? <laughs> no, that's... Oh, boy. But, yeah, I'm happy... Because the, here's the thing, Team Reptile was able to get like that Jet Set Radio style down. Not too much on the 2D aspect when the fir game first came out, but when um, what was it? When it got to 3D, I was like, okay, these visuals are really, really good. I like it. And then now with all this stuff, it's like, no, I want to play all these games again. Heal Chie. That one's immune to electricity. How did that not heal Chie? What the heck? Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. If it's anything like that, I'm down. Have I played Super Dodgeball? Oh, I did the single heal? Ah, uh, well... I deserved it. I only healed myself, alright. But I've never played Super Dodgeball. I definitely need to give Super Dodgeball a shot. Just rush him. Let's just... Everyone's fine. Just give me more money, thank you. <sighs> you only healed yourself, I know. I'll get there. Watch as I push the Y button. I do a skill, I go to Teddy, and then... Uh, see, we're all, we're, all, we're all happy here. Electricity. Not if I use this. Haha. -ha. Yikes, it's tough. It sure is. And black. It's showtime. Are you ready? Alright, here goes. Go! Knock them out! <laughs> Oh yeah, I got my paycheck today. Uh, fun fact, if you were to check out Amazon, uh, I'm sure some- uh, I think it was Wario64 that tweeted it. The top selling video games on Amazon.com as of late was... Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne on PS2. Shin Megami Tensei Devil- was it Devil Saga Story 1 and 2? And Persona 3 Fez. They were the top selling games on Amazon. <laughs> Freaking eat your heart out. That was amazing. And today, since I got my paycheck, I, I bought a cup. Weird. How could a remake cause people to buy the old one? Yeah, it's like... It's like, man, maybe I wish I bought the game beforehand. And maybe I have these old consoles. But yeah, they were very cheap, too. Because if you look at some of the prices, they're mostly, like, reprints. So, it's not that expensive. It's completely counterintuitive. It is. I didn't buy Nocturne because I'm waiting for the Nocturne release to come out. I didn't buy Nocturne. I bought the ones I didn't own, which was uh, SMT Digital uh, Devil Saga 1 and 2. Because those are the ones I don't have. I'm kind of excited to try Nocturne, though. Yeah, and if you want to get like a cheaper version of Nocturne, if you're impatient to play it, uh, just get it on, PS on PSN because you can get it on your PS3. Because that's, that's what I have, and that's why I didn't buy a physical copy of Nocturne, even though it would be cool for a collector's value, which, not or not a value, it's just more of like, hey, I own it physically. That's awesome, but uh, I have it digitally, and since I'm getting a remaster, which is the better version, why did I do that? That's what I get for talking. Anyway, but yeah, I ended up buying a bulk, and then I also bought a SMT3 Fez, because... Who knows, maybe I'll stream that in the future. And Teddy, I know PS2s at my lower. local retro game store are relatively inexpensive, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna bum rush these dudes, screw it. it guys. Hang in there. But yeah, I'm excited to see what uh, new things that Nocturne's gonna do for the remake. Great job. 
SMT3. Sorry, Shin Megami Tensei Persona 3 Fez. I forgot I forgot to put in the diet uh, name in it. The the diet SMT name. Sorry. I was giving the game too much credit. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't buy Nocturne uh I didn't buy Nocturne physically. I bought Shin Megami Tensei Persona 3 Fez. Sorry. How does the addition of a cool social life sim make something no, diet, huh? Right. Darkness won't work. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe SMT is the diet if there's no reset. It's sinful. Listen. <laughs> Listen here. <laughs> Why does everyone keep attacking me on this? Oh, boy. Couldn't quite beat it. I don't know. I think the cool thing about SMT, because most people don't talk about SMT much, which you, you hate to see, is just interacting with uh, demons. No, because, like, interacting with demons is funny, because they're, they're just to berate you. Because Persona, at least with my experience, it's like, it's a feel-good game, friendship, tell the truth, let's save our friends. SMT is just like, give me your freaking money. Why are you so careless with your money? And then the de demon leaves you when you're trying to get it on your team. It's just a game that intentionally makes you feel bad. And I'm like, ah, oh, jeez, that stinks, but it's funny. It's just a funny ga gag. Because most of Undertale, fun fact, came from, like, some of the gameplay elements of Shin Megami Tensei, so... Uh, yeah. So if you're big into the Undertale, because, oh, wow, I can talk to, like, my enemies... You can do that in Shin Megami Tensei, but be warned, you're gonna be made fun of, like, the entire time. It's great. We all have fun here. You're not a true gamer if you don't spend time with friends. I'm just bitter because I like Persona. I'm too scared of it all the time I'll lose it if I delve into an SMT proper. <laughs> eh, you'll have fun with SMT. We have. The original Persona had similar new recruiting mechanics to SMT, I think. Yeah, I mean, SN or Persona 1 and 2 had some similar elements, yeah. Yeah. Good old Persona 1 and 2. Good game. Those are good games, but too bad we live in a world where little children are like, hmm. Yeah, Persona 3, 4, and 5. The famous Persona trilogy, and I'm like, why? Why are you like this? But also, I don't blame them. They're kids. They don't know. They haven't done the research. Some people learn late. That's okay. Can't blame kids for not knowing. Another level for but me. it makes it kind of hurts because it's just like, just give the other games a shot. Just definitely give the other games a shot. That it's what made them unique. I it's just no one the bought them. To maturity. But now, now that the more the series is more recognized, I. Okay, here's the big thing. I can guarantee it. Like, since Nocturne is coming to Switch, I wouldn't be surprised if the uh, main uh, protagonist of um, SMT Nocturne is in Smash. Like, if that ends up being a playable character in Smash's future, that's definitely going to raise more awareness for people to be like, okay, maybe I will play the games. Because, let's be 100% real, no one would have played Xenoblade Chronicles if Shulk wasn't in Smash. No one would have known about Earthbound if Ness and Lucas weren't in Smash. That's not good. Two SMT reps? Well, one's a Persona rep, one would just be an SMT rep, but yeah, kind of like that. But yeah, th that's the thing, because most like games people don't know about is because, oh, they're in Smash. Like, even with Dragon Quest, no one gave a crap about Dragon Quest until Hero went in, and I was like, well, people care about Dragon Quest now. That's nice, but would have helped forever ago, but it's okay. The past is the past. One Persona rep and one die. Hey now. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> Gee, somebody, quick, someone heal her. We he Hoen? Yeah, we he Hoen. Hey, welcome to the stream, Flower. Your name was very blue, so I couldn't read it. But yeah, something tells me that if SMT Nocturne is going to make a lot of sales, I guarantee if they put a... What the heck is that? He has no face and he must scream. Look at this nerd. 
I disagree. Dragon Quest XI had a huge presence in the States before Hero and Smash happened and just a huge media push on the big franchise. Uh, name is like Light Brown for me. That name too. Obscene. What was his name? Yeah, I'm not reading that. <laughs> do I have space for a persona? I think I do. I'll, I'll, I'll take one. Neat. Yay, enemy radar. You'll be able to see enemies on the map even where you haven't explored yet. Hooray! Useful. That's useful! Anyway. I mean, I could agree with you, Squid, about the whole Dragon Quest thing, but I'm gonna be 100% real. Even, like, then. Even then. I will say. Like, even even if it had a push, even though Dragon Quest XI was big, let's face it. Dragon Quest XI was robbed of the Game Award for RPG of the Year. Let's be freaking real. Yeah, it definitely got a bigger bump because of Smash. Like, yeah, it had a bump, but because it wasn't still in Smash yet, it still didn't win Game of the Year. And that's... that's What won? I think it was Monster Hunter World. That won Game of the Year. And I was like, sure, yeah, I guess. I mean, Monster Hunter's cool. I don't get me wrong. I didn't buy it. But I was like, good... Yeah, Monster Hunter is good, too. It's just, I was more of the Dragon Quest guy that year, because I bought it on PC. I dropped money on it. Hey, Duper, welcome to the stream. I, I had a huge introduction, Duper, because, holy crap, I took a nap and I didn't level grind at all. <laughs> because I got sick and I needed to get better. I was giving my kid... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. If you show up late, it's all good. Um, with Squid, Dragon Quest XI was a lot on people's radar before Smash. That is true, but then again, it wasn't on a Nintendo console. I don't think it would have gotten the boost. Also, even beforehand, like, not a lot of people were buying it anyway, though. Like, like they were buying it. It was a success, but it's not like a success, like a success success. Smash definitely gave it a better boost. Like, I'm gonna, I'm still all, like, that, that is still a definite thing. It's just... Even then, I can get, I guarantee you, even if it didn't get a Smash rep, no one would be really talking about Dragon Quest XI much now. Because a lot of people are still, like, buying the game and doing that. And if it didn't get it, like, even if it went on Switch, I don't think it would have sold as well if they were like, oh, he is a rep in Smash. Like, that's the thing. Like, when you get a rep in Smash, the game will sell. Like, that's, that's just what I'm trying to get. Why do I do this every time? Anyway, it's just, I think you gotta take the perspective of someone who's not a heavily engaged gamer. Yeah, that's true, I guess. It's just, you need to thin them out. when someone gets added to Smash, suddenly the casuals are aware of them. <laughs> I guess, I don't know, it's just like, that's because of the Switch port IMO, but I think your point holds a lot of water. Yeah, it's just... just if you really think about it, it's just like, even with Earthbound, it's because of like Ness and Lucas and Smash, it's definitely, that's what, that's got the huge boost of what people know Earthbound today, like, let's be real now. Like, even, like, I even mentioned with Shulk, with Xenoblade Chronicles, the big, like, JRPG fans are like, oh, I'll get that game, but for a casual audience, they'll be like, what's Xenoblade Chronicles, I don't care. Like, literally, like, I guarantee, like, we wouldn't have gotten, like, these many ports of Xenoblade Chronicles if Shulk wasn't in Smash. I guarantee it. The internet had zero interest in Earthbound before Smash 64 because it was so niche. Exactly. Like I said, Sakurai touches a franchise and it's like, wow, oh, suddenly it's selling bunch. How did this happen? Or you get people that are like, oh, we got a Persona rep in Smash, we'll get Persona on Switch, right? Pfft, no. Absolutely not. You're getting SMT, you're gonna like it. If you want a Persona game, play an SMT game first. So, I'm, I'm joking, that is not a real reason. I am joking. I mean, <laughs> that would be funny of just like, hey, can we get a Persona game on Switch? It's like, not until you eat in your SMT meatloaf first, and they'll be like, oh man. The internet barely existed at that point, to be fair, but yeah. But, yeah. Whap. Now we get- Now that we got the Joker, the only two matter of time before we get Batman. Absolutely. 
Batman for Smash. Go for it, guys. Hang in there. Man, I hope I can attack this guy and get some money. If not, I'll be upset. Why do you do this? I just want a lot of yen and an EXP. Yep, Good just answer. let me at him. Ready or not, here we come. <sighs> I don't want any of these personas. I remember when Smash 64 came out and people thought Ness was some kind of Pokemon trainer, and that was. And that he was saying stuff like Pika Fire as in Pikachu. No, the thing is, that's what my friend said too. <laughs> For me, I was just like, no, that can't be it. And I went to look at the trophy because I liked looking into games when I was a kid. I learned it because of the Smash 64 trophy. I was like, oh, Earthbound, what's that? And I wanted to find the game and I couldn't find it. It was, it was hard. And I didn't have a Super Nintendo, so I was like, well, I'll never be able to play it. Until years later, I finally did. And I was like, yep. Good, good, I'll avoid stuff at the time being. It's fine. Holy crap, holy, that's a lot of money. I gotta keep up my training. Uh -huh, I leveled up! You sure did level up, Chie, you sure did. I was so hyped for Animal Crossing because of the Tom Nook and Toto KK trophies. And, yeah! Oh, what the? Power charge doubles damage of next physical attack. I don't I use personas more often. Strains one ally attack. Oh, that's for their attack. I don't really need that, do I? Spooky. <laughs> Fifteen percent chance of reflecting. I don't really need power charge much, do I? Maybe. Strength and ice. I mean, maybe. Hmm. I know I'm not going to use that. Like, as much as it's there. I absolutely need power charge. I should. I say that, and then you say that automatically, and I'm like, hmm. Uh, what do I get rid of? This is, like, my least favorite part of Persona games. It's like, hey, remember Pokemon? Well, it's like that, but change it. And I'm like, uh, no. Increases one allies to yeah, Tarkaj. I'll just delete it. I don't use it anyway, so. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Whoa! I got like seven notifications on Discord. What happened? You need to watch your health, senpai. I know I should watch my health, but I just looked over at my computer like other screen for a second, and I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> something's not right. Something's not right. Dang, Mr. Popular. <laughs> nope. I wish I got Discord messages with actual deals. They'll be like, hey, we want you to make fun of the funny gamers. Oh no, it's my... F <laughs> my friend just sent me a bunch of pictures of Gabe Newell. He's saying Gabe Newell is looking a lot skinnier lately, and I'm like, he sure is. Oh, it's because... <laughs> okay, that was a... that's good for Gabe. But the joke response he gave is because the Half-Life series is continuing. The wait is over. The wait is over. I get it. Funny. Ha ha. I lost... My headphones dropped out of my head. Good job. And then he sent me music of Tron Legacy with the introduction from Daft Punk where he's... it's like the grid, the, the digital frontier. And now my friend is going through his uh, crazy theory that Gabe Newell will one day put his brain into a computer. Did you watch the Beef Bowl video I linked to? Oh, the thing about that Beef Bowl video, I saw that and then you linked it and I was like, oh yeah, I saw that. I didn't respond, but I did see that video because it was in my recommendations. It was, um, that's a lot of freaking beef. Like, in my mind, I was like, oh, I would love to do that. But then I also remembered I can't eat that much. So I was like, dang it. But in game, I can eat as much beef bowl I want. 
Matt, you should take the beef pull challenge on str Dude, I'd probably puke. And I think that is against the terms of service on Twitch. Make Evan do it? Maybe. Well, he, he could because he keeps telling me he's on keto and he's like, I'm Evan Butler, I'm on keto to eat all the meat. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, they hate beef on Twitch. Honestly, Gabe Newell is actually putting a lot of money into brain-computer interfacing, and it's literally because he's afraid of, to die, and that's kind of terrifying. I don't know. I wouldn't... I, I would probably say, yeah, that is the case, but I also take into consideration Portal 2's, like, lore. Like, the Portal 2 lore of, like, how Cave Johnson just, just wanted to put their brain on a computer. I was thinking it was for that purpose, but I, if that's actually true, then that is kind of sad. You just played that. I love Portal 2. Portal 2 is like one of my favorite games. Good answer. Out of our way. I would love to play Portal 2 again. It's such a good game. I'm not joking. His son did a whole interview about the brain computer interface tech they've been working on. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, we'll do EXP up. The <laughs> Sean, I'm not reading that joke. <laughs> That joke is old as time. I remember when I used to laugh at that joke a lot because it was a one part reference in the game and then it's not a joke, it's the truth. <laughs> I don't know. If Gabe is able to figure out how to put like your mind on the computer, I want to <laughs> I want the new like whenever they do a tour on like actual like when people go to Valve to do tours whenever that happens again. It's just going to be like the the documentary, like, not, uh, what was it? The developer's commentary. You see like a thing and then you see like Gabe pop up and he's like, hello, welcome to Valve headquarters at valvesoftware.com. And I'll be like, oh boy, here he is, the man of the hour. Did I miss any secret floors? I don't know. Pro gamer tips. Oh, I have to give a tip. You can tell who's a gamer and who's not by who laughs at the cake as a lie and understands the reference. A lot of the BCIA stuff at Valve is about like reading and writing to the brain to like simulate stimulate your sensory nervous system in context of media. Oh no, I gave you the tip this time. You sure did. I appreciate the gamer tips. It's it's what I'm here for. Oh boy. Lap. Skills rampage. Someone finish it off! Three enemies uh, left. You can win this. Let's do this. That is so bizarre. It is. Like, I'm interested ah, oh, frick, my foot. I'm interested to see what Gabe can do with this technology. Because it's been in like development forever. And given like I tried out um Half-Life Alex and stuff, like Guys, like, it's tough for me to choose a game of the year, because here's the thing. I would definitely give the game of the year to uh, Half-Life Alex just because of just how unique of the experience is. But then again, not a lot of people have VR. So it's kind of like, it's, it's me debating between FF7 Remake and Half-Life Alex. Like, those are the two games that are, like, up in the air right now for me for game of the year. Half-Life Alex feels like it belongs in a different category from Pancake Games. It's just not... Yeah, it's hard to compare that because it's just like... It really... I would say in like the base, like technology-wise, Half-Life Alex was just so unique. It is... Oh, frick. What's Windbreak? Nullifies one wind resistance. Uh... Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't need Windbreak. Goodbye. I don't use it. But yeah. But so far, like, game of the year... No! There's another game, too! Shoot. But I don't think it counts much as a game because it's been, like, in beta forever, but... I bought it this year because it finally finished and came out this year. It's... And they're all remakes, too. That's what's weird. It's just, like... Black Mesa, uh, FF7 Remake, and uh, Half-Life Alex. Those are, like, my favorite games of this year. It's just... 
can't really put, like, Black Mesa in a category, because everyone's like, oh, that game came out already. It's just like, yeah, it did, but it was finished. It finally finished. You could finally go to Zen, which is great. Half-Life Alex also benefits from being unique over necessarily feeling being good. Other games will borrow from it and approve upon it and will realize how basic it was in retrospect. That is true. It's just... Not a lot of people are really doing anything with it now, though. That's the thing. But then again, I don't have VR, so I can't really say that. But I wouldn't say that in, in the long term, to say the least. I would say, like... What is it? For At least for 2020. For, like, as an experience for a game. Like, 2020, this is what games was. It's interesting. Don't lower your guard now. Yosuke-senpai! Oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> I did it. <sighs> but yeah, I there's still a lot of games that haven't like came out yet, so I can't really decide on a game of the year quite yet. I also haven't even bought um Paper Mario and the Shin Megami Tensei King. <laughs> haven't bought that. I mean, I don't think it's a bad game, it's just I'm not interested in playing it at the moment. Even though I have the money to probably drop on it, it's just... Oh my gosh. Just let me whap these dudes. Neat. I climbed the stairway to maturity. No, you didn't. Game Newell says brain computer interfaces will be an extinction level event for entertainment. It is a terrifying headline TBA. It is. Dude, Game Newell could end up being like this super like scientist villain that we all wanted in science fiction movies for a long time, and I'm all for that. Terrifying, yes, but if that's how, if that's the way Gabe Newell goes out, Gabe Newell is G-Man. I would love for Gabe Newell just to pop up and be like, Matt, I got you some chicken nuggets from the Wendy's, and I'll be like, why did you get me chicken nuggets? Gabe sounds like Kanye for gamers. Nah, I wouldn't compare him to Kanye per se. It's not like a god complex kind of thing, because Kanye is like, he gets verbal about it. Gabe Newell is just a quiet man about it. He he's not very like. He doesn't yell, he's just kind of just like, yeah, I'm Gabe Newell. Matt, I have some chicken nuggets, but prepare for unforeseen consequences. <laughs> he sounds a little crazy. True. I mean, not not crazy. I mean, I can, I can see what he's getting at science-wise, because there is evidence to kind of back up what he's doing. But I will say, at least it's not like Kanye levels where he's like, yo, I'm literally Jesus, and I'm like, you're not God, dude. And then, it's not like that, at least. That I can say with, like, at least some knowledge. It's like, yeah, I don't think Gabe's that crazy. It's just like, he's, a, he's, he's the science guy, and he's just like, I'm using technology in video games to figure out what to do. And it's like, you keep doing your research, dude. And then... With Kanye, he's just, uh... I just know him as he, he makes song. And he's just a creative dude that's a little... A little big on his ego. That should do it. So, I don't know. It's a lot of... It's weird. It's weird where where you're like, Oh, I, I enjoyed these people. They entertain and they make cool stuff. And then afterwards, it's like... Where are they going? Hey, welcome back, dupes. We were talking about... Gabe Newell and Kanye West. I made fancy coffee. Nice. Gotta always make yourself a fancy coffee. Well, I don't drink coffee, but props to you. I, I'm just not the big drinksman. Wait a minute. Where the heck am I supposed to be? Politics. It's not really politics. I think Gabe Newell is just more like... Yes! I used the ID. What are your favorite beverages? Uh, water? Hot chocolate? Oh, I meant Kanye. Oh no, we were talking about like, in insaneness of creator, and this happens to me, cool. 
No, it's just like the insan insanity where creators go. Chalky milk. I don't like Fuji. <laughs> Shut up. No, it's just like I'm talking about the ideas of like creators going crazy because like Gabe Newell is just putting all this research into like putting your brain in a computer. Yeah, and then Kanye, like, I'm thinking it's like, it's not too crazy, because Gabe's actually using science and doing research for this stuff, unlike Kanye West, where he's just like, I am literal Jesus, and I'm like, no you're not, <laughs> shut up, and he just goes insane with power, hey, not bad, Teddy. but, Keep it up. you see, insanity of creators, you see it a lot with influence, absolutely, like, I, that's why I don't like it when people are like, oh, Mr. Matt over here is an internet, like, uh, influencer. I'm like, I, I hope I'm not, because I'm just a normal dude who likes to play video games, and I just do stuff, and people like it, I guess. Because right. I, don't, I don't like to label myself, because I think influencer is just a gross word. It's just like, no, I don't like that one bit. I'm just not keen of that word, it's just not good. Listen, man, Cave Johnson is supposed to be slightly deranged by the end of his life, and I don't want to be mean to Gabe, but it's starting uh -oh. to sound familiar. <laughs> I mean, Gabe does what he... he I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens with Gabe. It, it, it could end up like that, but... Even if he does go insane, you still gotta respect the fact that he was able to build a company, like, just with a small idea of Half-Life, and he made, like, games... Like how they were today. Like it'll, it's probably going to be like an outdated concept by then. But like the legacy of that will live on forever, at least in my eyes. Because I, I'm a sucker for the Half Life games. I love the first Half Life. I love the second one. I love Portal, Portal Two, Left for Dead. It's just all those games that Valve made. They're, it's just, it really brought to where we are now, and I will never like forget that legacy ever. So if he does go, like, insane, it will be a sad day, but it's just kind of like, you know what? He did what he had to. Like, I love that guy. I mean, I would love to meet him someday, but I hope it's in, like, fortunate circumstances. More than anything, Chie's freaking dead. Chie's freaking dead. I can't believe it. Um, Yosuke-senpai, your health is really low. I'm, I'm aware. <laughs> Let's bring her back from the dead. Hold on. Senpai, your agility has been lowered. I'm I'm fully aware. <clears throat> so let me bap this. Never mind. Two enemies left. Don't lower your guard now. Um, I'll heal myself. The funny thing is, it didn't start with Half Life. Mark Laidlaw was hired to write for Prospero. And he got oh, yeah, from okay? Yeah. Someone heal him. I mean, if we want to get to the real technicalities Senpai, of it, it's just still. It didn't, yeah, it didn't start with Half-Life, but I still think, like, Half-Life had some effect to it. I mean, it probably didn't start everything, but it was still sort of, I don't know. Half-Life did something. That I can say for sure. It did a thing. I'm not sure what, but it did a thing. It impacted something. It made this little boy concerned about how government science go experiments go, work. Go, go. I mean, that's other three. That's a this great game. Bad. Bring you back, Yosuke. Get up. Beat it to a pulp. Oh, guys. oh my oh, gosh! Teddy's dead. Careful, guys. You're really low on health. I'm. Uh, I'm aware. Half Life changed the games industry. It wrote the book on game storytelling for six years, and then threw that book out and rewrote it again. It sure did. There we go, I have to heal right after this. But yeah. I thought the game froze, I got scared, I was like, no. <laughs> oh boy, imagine if my game froze again, I would cry. I'd cry bloody tears. Like that Castlevania song. I should probably save soon. <laughs> A strong presence beyond this door. Open and enter? Absolutely not. I mean, I'm at the floor. Matt, you stole my joke. What joke did I steal? Bloody tears. I'm, I'm quick on my feet. I'm a video gamer. I know jokes. I know wacky, hilarious jokes. I have, like, no SP. I should probably go out and... 
I should use a go home though. Just save. Be safe. Let's -a go. Let me save before I forget. I should. Uh, how much? How much EB? Pat head. He seems to be enjoying it. No! That's like the amount of yen I earned from this whole dungeon. No. I'm gonna actually go home and heal and come back the next day. Wait, I have Persona to fuse. Let me do that. Frick. Check compendium. Register my, my baby boys. Here you go. And here you go. No, I meant fuse. I didn't mean to push B. Alright. Save the game. Save the game. Fuse personas. What's the forecast? Nuff skill. Okay. I got some wacky personas. One called Ma Mott. We fused them last time. And now we got Fuki. I don't like that. I don't like that name. I could make Raphael from uh, freaking Soul Calibur, but I can't. He's too he's too powerful. He's got too much. We can do Hansman. That's a monkey called Thought. That monkey's a thought. Anyway, do I want this ape? This funny looking ape. Look at this monkey! I just found. I want this monkey. A little monkey. Let's go with get. Hokuto Seikun. I just find it funny that you can fuse an actual. <laughs> actual, actual Raphael. Good. That just looks like, um. If Will Smith and Mr. Miyagi had a child, and they cased him in ice, and took his eye. Man, the Karate Kid went freaking deep. Now, you know what? I don't want to get Raphael, screw that, because he's too high. I want the monkey. Give me the monkey. I want the monkey. With its mighty swing. <laughs> uh, barrier that reflects physical damage. Um, decreases all foes' attacks for three turns. Hey, that's not too bad. I like that. Revives an ally with 50% HP. Yeah, we could use some of that. Blades of Blade of Fury. And physical to all foes 2x or 2-4x. Oh, I would probably get Blade of Fury. Sorry, BitTorrent. I ain't getting you. I'll use the Blade of Fury. Yes, this monkey is acceptable. I accept this monkey as my persona. Monkey. I am Thought. I have come to serve you. <laughs> oh no. What an unfortunate name. Thank you, Thought the Monkey. Why monkeys are so funny to me? I enjoy a funny monkey. Dude, monkeys are the funniest animals. Allow Mahama to change. Wait, what? Wait, what? No! Well, oops. I don't know what happened, but I got a monkey. And I pushed B by accident. No going back. Whoops. Ouch. You wowzers. I was, I was going too fast on that. Now what can I fuse with the monkey? No. That's that seems like a downgrade. No. Oh hey, Hokoto Seikun, that is the uh Thomas deity that decides whether you go to heaven or hell. Dad isn't religious per se, but has ways. He said he subscribes to Oh, interesting. I didn't notice what was succubus. Well, Wait, fusing a monkey with virtue. 
The monkey's name is Thought. Yadagaratsu. I don't know what Yadagaratsu is. This is just the succubus. Do I dare fuse this monkey? The one above Sakamithra. That's a bird. That's a bird. That's a bird with a funny looking necklace. Take all the time you can see. This funny ape will turn into a bird. Which I don't get why. Hmm. Oh, the results are on the right. Okay, I did not notice that until now. That, that makes things a lot easier. I mean, I could get the higher ones, but I think a succubus making from a monkey from thought and virtue. <laughs> Great. I think dupes will appreciate if I get a succubus, but I don't know. I doubt that. You know what? Screw it. We're getting a succubus. Why not? What? Hey! <laughs> like how I called you out, dude. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it. Alright. I knew you would. I'm drawing. <laughs> nice. Almighty damage. Heck yeah. Give me all of this. The Devil's Social Link? We can f hmm. There she is! I'm Succubus, just relax and leave everything to your big sit- Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that, oh my gosh. Oh my word. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. Wait, allow Garula to change? What's what is this? I think I'm missing some dialogue. What was Garula? I don't know what this is. This is different. Unless it's asking me to fuse something else. The move can be replaced with something else. Do I want Garula to change? Medium wind damage. Hmm. Do I really want to change it? Not really. I don't know. But change it to what? I don't know. That's what I missed. Shoot. This did not work out well. That's what I get for speaking through dialogue. That's the thing you don't know. Hmm, I'm not risking it, no. I'm not risking it. <laughs> I'd much rather know what I'm getting rather than just like, hey, we'll give you something random. I'm like, no, don't do that. <laughs> I'd like to know what I'm getting. Sorry, sorry, Fusion Forecast, not today. I'm gonna heal, Teddy. I will BRB going to the moon. Well, not the moon. As in moon, as in I'm going home to sleep. I can see the moon from my bed. Oh, welcome back. You mean Dojima's not here? I wanted to max his social link. Maybe that's what I wanted to do. But maybe I'm too tired to do it. Time to sleep. It is now Monday. Monday, Monday. Shoots up in the sky while DuckTales moon music plays. <laughs> Maybe. Today is respect for the age day, so you have the day off from school. Okay. What should I do today? Probably go back in the TV. I'll go back to the TV. You 
Do you, Nanako? Wait, I just... What is that? I can't tell what that is. It looks like a charger of some sort. Hmm. I'll never know what that is. It is a mystery. Probably not much of a mystery. It's a plug for something. I just don't know what it is. You know I'm going to Okina City to waste my yen. Give me, give me a cool figure. That's all I want. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the figuroli. Dang it. Come on. Come on. I'll keep trying, darn it. Don't think I won't stop. A Tesla? Like the car? Wow! No! I wanna come back tomorrow. Wait, wait, can I buy a cool uniform? I guess. Maybe. Can I buy a cool clothes? Cheer squad. Sure. I'll buy one for me. I always get caught off guard by the song that plays at Dojima's Residence because it says we gave a shot, but it sounds like. <laughs> Kinda does, yeah. Kinda does. Oh, hey, Adachi, there you are. Um, let me sell some stuff. I just realized I can get more money. Hold up. I'm gonna go sell my stuff at the weapon shop. I should probably put on the, the cool kids uniform. Hold up. No longer a gag. I am now a cheer squad outfit boy. I already maxed out with you. I can't talk to you again. As much as I should. But everyone gets mad because it's like, that's wasting stuff. I've come to see your art. So I will I'll sell you. Truth or dare? Um, truth. What's your middle name? It's Matthew. I t <laughs> I'm not sure if you knew, but my middle name is what everyone calls me by, Matt. It's my first name that not a lot of people know. My legal first name. My middle name is Matthew. It's Matt. Matt Matt. <laughs> nope, that's not my first name either. <laughs> Dare. <laughs> Remember, I can refuse a dare. If it's too... If it's too something, I can refuse it. I dare you to say your first name? No. <laughs> I can refuse it. I mean, you can dare me to say it, but if I'm comfortable... <laughs> okay, that's uh, all Truth. I'm just switching it up tonight. <laughs> what is it, buddy? I'll do my furry best. Teddy, oh my gosh.
Will you tell me privately what your first name is? As long as you don't spread it. Justin, you have to promise me you can't tell anybody. Obviously. I mean, with an LOL like that, that means you're definitely going to tell somebody. <laughs> All right, I will text I will text it to you. One sec. Frick, where are you? Truth or dare? Gosh dang, people are getting with the truth or dares tonight. Um, dare. Remember, I can refuse it if I feel like it. I've really opened the floodgates, I sure have. Alright, I sent it to you, dupes. I hope you're happy. I dare you to tell me what you're telling, duper. Okay, I, I'll tell you. I, I typed up words that are my first name, and I sent it to Duper. So, yeah, I told you what I was telling Duper. I typed my first name. And <laughs> Zach, oh my word. <laughs> um, hmm. Dare, Zach. I'll do a dare. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Truth or <laughs> first, let's get Zach's in first. Just wait a sec. I dare you to tell me how your day was. I already did at the start of the stream. I mean, if you go back in the VODs, you'll you'll, you'll see how I'm doing. Uh, kind of irpy. Ate something and wasn't too... Uh, that made me too happy. So, I, I'm just repeating myself at this point. So, you, you wasted that. But... I was kind of irpy, felt kind of weird, I took a nap, woke up, and I was like, ah, I didn't make a promo, and I didn't prepare for anything, so here I am now, a little more healthier and better, just making sure I don't die. Alright, Squid now says truth or dare, uh, truth, I'm just alternating through these at this point. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, frick, I didn't get anyone on my team. What is your first name? Truth or dare? <laughs> truth, what is your first name? Well, I could tell you the truth, but remember, I could refuse a truth or a dare. I can refuse if it's too personal. And I've mentioned this before, I'm not going to tell you my first name. It's something I keep to myself and whatever my employers want my legal name as. I'm so out of... That's what you get for wasting points for trying to get me to say my name. Yeah, everyone's really wanting to know my first name. I'm not going to tell it. I just want to respect that privacy, and that's that. Um, okay. <laughs> Duper just messaged me, I'll tell you mine one day. I'm like, okay. Alright, Sean, truth or dare? Um, dare. What's the, what's the dare, buddy boy? Squid and redeem pro gamer tips. Will you tell me your first name if it's the password to a video? It's not a password to the video game. It it is not a password to a video game. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I dare you to blacklist the phrase first name from your Twitch chat so no one's allowed to say it anymore. <laughs> I should do that. I mean. Dupes a mod, so if anyone tries to ask me for my first name again, you, you get a timeout. <laughs> so, dupes, since you're a mod, I'll give you that power to time people out if they ask for my first name. So the power is yours. If you mod me, I will gladly time out folks for that. <laughs> man. Matt, honestly, I mean no harm. I was just feeding into the joke. I know you don't mean any harm. It's fine. It's like, I got a chuckle. I did la- Oh my gosh, my outfit is so cool. What the heck? Can we time out Teddy every time he says Bearsona? <laughs> I wanted to. Dude, I am, I am Owendoned out. Let's freaking go. 
Looks like that one's immune to wind. Oh, we're not gonna use wind then. Also, you look like that one dude in high school. What one dude in high school? <laughs> the one super weeb kid? I never dress up like that. The only reason that that outfit, because Sean mentioned it to me, it's because, um... Hosada Kaio Endon, that's where the uh, the cheer squad wears the outfit and they cheer people on. And the thing is, I love Oendon. It's like one of my favorite video games, so... Having any kind of rep of that is... is we're, we're gonna die, are we? Senpai, you're low on health. Be careful. Oh yeah, yeah, whatever. You know that everyone gets cheer squad outfits and not just the pro tag, right? Yeah. I could have a full Oendon team. I'm all for that. Teddy, get up. I'm still ticking. Hold on, let's heal everybody before I do anything else. <laughs> Truth or dare? <laughs> Gosh, everyone's really redeeming those, the the cereal dust. Enemy to go. Keep it up. Just whap, whap. Right, um, dare. <laughs> I I'll go for a dare. Gosh, every time I think about Truth or Dare, I think about that stupid Doug episode where they have the, uh... What was that one okay? guy? It was, uh, Roger, and everyone's together, and he's just like, I dare you to kiss Patty Mayonnaise! That was... That's the only thing I think of when I think Truth or Dare, because that episode was so weird to me as a kid. I dare you to loop that... That Roger voice was so good! <laughs> it's not that good! <laughs> I just tried my best. I dare you to loop the HHH Greg Daft Punk song for the rest of the time on floor B4 in the secret lab. <sighs> you know what? I can't argue that. <laughs> I'll... Oh my gosh. Hold on. Can I, uh... Let me do a thing. Can I mute music? Hold up. Very expensive. <laughs> I just said it. Bugless. Very expensive. Very expensive. You broke my persona! Okay, no background music. We're gonna have some new background music on the request of, uh... Yes, save. Oh, frick, I didn't even save. Hold up. You have a real knack of impressions, Matt, if you know that. <laughs> Thank you, I I'm glad you think that. Hold on, let's get uh, that HHH Greg thing on a loop. I'll <laughs> they it was dared, I will do it. Hold on. H H Greg, because that's a good mix of H H Greg. It's good, good stuff. Let's see. Can you say it's a me Mario in Mario's voice? Maybe. Hold on. Hopefully it's not too loud, because I don't want it to be too loud. Let me just, uh... Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's a me, a Mario! <laughs> Mar there we go, there's your Mario. Here we go. If this song gets too loud, I'm gonna turn it down a bit. This is not gonna end well. I'm pissed now. Sure are. Oh, wait, they're immune, right? I didn't mean to bum rush this. Oh, jeez. I should have healed. Shoot. Oh. It's so stubborn. Oh 
come on. There you go. Ah! Oh, I will. Don't don't you worry. Alrighty, alrighty. You know what? Ah! Why? Come on. Don't do that. There we go. Yes. Oh no, I might need cutscene moment. Hold on. Yeah, good thing the song ended just in time for that. My gosh. Alright, that was fun. <laughs> Let's get the regular music back on. There we go. Original audio back. I did the dare. Yes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Intruder detected within the research area. Elimination proceeding. Oh gosh. Uh oh, that one's immune to darkness. Super Sentai is gonna kick your butt. Absolutely will. Wait, do I have that item? A smart bomb. Yikes, it's tough. One yeah, that's not gonna Keep do anything. I was hoping you'd say dare, because I had no idea what to ask for truth. The song makes me think of Splatoon. It does make it. It is kind of Splatoon ish. Let's try this. It's gonna be like. It's not going down. Oh my gosh! Oh no. I'm still ticking. Jeez Louise. I'm gonna move my mic back a bit. Jeez Louise. Let me heal my baby boys and goils. Attack, fully restores. Uh, just let's, let's just heal the team a little bit. Just let's fix that up first. Ah, oh, that's darkness. It's immune to that. Shoot. This is not gonna do anything. Come on, my son. Oh, hey, this is not good. Try this. Someone finish it off. Uh, we'll try, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Damn, it's not going down. Maybe I should have got Kanji on my team. Come on. I need to get Kanji. He has like lateral lightning. Maybe if that will do something. Yeah, let's use Bufula. Come on, my son. Hey, that does something. Kanji's not actually a great choice for lightning. I see. Oh well. 
Uh, let me just use that power bomb. Just get that out of the way. Ball of light. Hmm. Not going yeah, down. that's not gonna do much. Herculean strike. Jeez. Shoot. Heal me, darn it. Heal me. Oh, my word. Uh, heal me. I don't want to die and then have to start over. There we go. Oh no. Matt, do you want strats? Maybe. Hold on. Let's just do that. Just raise my attack a bit, why don't I? That would be good. This is hidden from you, but the boss takes reduced damage from everything except what takes a little more than normal damage from ice, but it has no knockdown because it doesn't count as a weakness. Ice cube. Might as well just get rid of the smart bomb. It does a hundred. Someone else's turn. Power charge. Boy. That was a waste, but I don't care. It's... We're getting there. We're getting there. Heat wave. Why did I do that? Someone finish it off! So like ice does better than average, nullifies light and dark, and everything else just reduces damage. Hmm. That's some thick skin. Oh no, Herculean strike! Senpai, quick, someone heal her. Are we all heal, don't don't you worry. Cast a uh, Hamon on one enemy. What's that? That sounds kind of useful, but I don't want to waste it. Hell Magnuma. I'll use a Hell Magnuma. Sure, why not? Yikes! It's tough. I'll use another Hell Magnuma. Why not? Hell Magnuma. That's burn, baby, skin. burn. Heal everybody, my man. Hamon has a low chance of instantly killing one enemy. The skill instantly drops to opponents. It doesn't work on boss, I figured. Eh. When I read that, I was like, oh, it does that? Well, that's not going to 
work in my favor. It would just be a waste. <laughs> yeah, screw Reezy Hell Magnum of Frick it. Someone finish it off! Don't don't you worry, even though I wasted Someone like... else's turn. Uh we were fine. Hey, I heard you like Hell Magnuma. What? I can't defeat it! Yo, man, I heard you like, uh, Hell Magnuma? I heard you like Hell Magnuma? I heard you like Hell Magnuma? I heard you like that? Like, it was pretty funny, I guess? So, I don't have any more. Hey, I heard you like Frost Magnuma? Heard you like that? Yikes, it's tough! Yeah, her yo, I heard you like, uh, Cyclone Mag. Yeah, I heard you like Cyclone Magnuma. Let's just use that. Cool. All right, I used Magnuma to win. Cool. All right, senpai. I did it. I beat it. I I beat the dude. I I sure did it. All right. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. You won by throwing beads at it. I sure did. Oh boy, the leader card. Now I can progress. This is... I threw beads and I won. I read beads as bees for some reason. Bees? It's weak to light. Shine on! Hey, okay, not bad, Teddy. Keep it up. Beat it to a pulp. Keep going, guys. Ouchie. Oh, nice move, Yusuke Senpai. Yes, recover me, please. Another level for me! Hooray! Making progress as I go. One, two, three, four. Go, go, go. Um, let's just see. Is there anything else I'm missing on this floor? Nothing at all? No, I, I was just here. Man, I love maps. That confuse me. It's great. It's cool. It's fine. No. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, there we go. We haven't explored this hallway yet. Nice. Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Figured. I couldn't quite beat it. Okay, Yusuke got that dealt with. Cool? No way. Yusuke's all right. He can be sometimes cool. We'll, we'll heal her, don't worry. She's gonna die. Teddy oh, can no. Help him? Oh, Yusuke, senpai, no. Uh, hmm, no. get up. How cruel. Um, Yusuke, senpai, your health is really low. Oh, I'm, I'm aware. Hey, Matt, you ever stop and think like everything you ever see in a cultural museum was just some crap uh, someone sat Let down and decided to make one day Keep a long time ago? Not really. I never really. I, it's been forever since I've been to a museum, so I haven't really thought anything like that. Hey, Matt, you ever stop and think? <laughs> Sometimes I do. Sometimes I just do things out of instinct. I mean, I stop and think sometimes. Depends on the situation. Matt, think? Of course not. <laughs> okay, now that, no, that's just. that's just mean. <laughs> Came here to have a good time. This stupid hand is dead. This stupid hand is. Gosh! Alright. Oh, what the heck? Ooh, a rare one. Don't let it get away. Me fail English? That's impossible. Go for it, guys. I watched that Simpsons there. episode recently. And that's the reason Glover 2 was cancelled. Glover was killed. Maybe. 
<laughs> Glover was cancelled because they peaked. <laughs> go, go! It peaked at its performance. It's fine as it is. Glover accidentally wandered into the set for Persona 4 and they thought they'd give him money if they beat the crap out of him. <laughs> Probably. One enemy to go. Keep it up. No, it ran away. The attack balls like always makes me laugh. Why does it make you laugh, Sean? Would you like to share with the class? Wowie zowie, that's a lot of yen. Because I'm in the I got the joke. Sean, I got the joke. <laughs> I hate that I chuckled at that, but yes. I got the joke. <laughs> Why am I still laughing? Gosh. Why am I laughing? Yes, I leveled up! Why am I laughing? Well, you found a joke that made me laugh. Good job. The funniest jokes are also the lowest hanging fruits. It is! Like, the lowest hanging fruit jokes are the worst, but it's also the funniest type of joke. My gosh. Oh, an enemy. Well, I'll get it later. Wow, look at all these doors. Stairs? We don't need no stairs. Bap. Um, yeah. Looks like that one's immune to wind. Hey, not bad, Teddy. Keep it up. The funniest jokes are the low hanging fruit. So, like, has anyone wondered what would happen if King Frost used the key on his sector to open the lock? Uh, two handles would be an almighty being, or would he just be naked? Oh, I have an answer for that. Give me a second. I have an answer for that. I won't lose. Don't lose, Teddy. Whoa, you're up. Time for a counterattack. Is everyone just gonna miss? She is sometimes acting weird. Everyone's acting weird. It's just a head with a tiny body. <laughs> no, I have an answer for it. Just give me a give me a hot minute to do something. Let me finish this. It's mostly just space. Just two left. Come on, this fight's not over. It's not over till the, the funny man sings. That's not how the saying. I have all out options. I should have done that. Oh no. I think I have a photo. Chia Senpai, your agility is down. Your agility stinks, bro. Let me do the thing. That's not what I. Oh, I, I messed that up. I botched that up pretty bad. Oh, you're up. Time for a counterattack. Maz recovered finally. All right. All right, you guys are going down. That's great, are you Senpai. Freaking... You really get me going. All right. All right, let's keep going. We will keep going. I gotta answer the question: What does King Frost look like? Hold on, I have a picture. I have a picture. Give me one minute. <laughs> I found it in two seconds. Here it is. I think, here here's my theory. Hold on, let me uh, get the the image up and ready. Hold on, no, not that image. Hold on, hold on. All right, it's this. This is what King Frost would look like. It's just a Jack Frost with no hat. <laughs> That's the answer. Here you go. <laughs> so it's just naked. Yeah, exactly. Here's another question for other Jack Frosts. If you're... Listen, I have, I have deep knowledge of Jack Frost and his siblings. 
It's just... Hold on. Here's a... <laughs> I'm reeling at this image. Well, it gets better. Hold on. Uh, let me look this one up. Hold on. Here's one with uh, his relatives. Hold on. Here you go. <laughs> the answer to all your questions. These are really important images I keep at all times. I hope you guys are happy. You should stream Jack Bros. Gosh, I should! You're right. I should stream Jack Brothers. I would. I definitely would. I'll plan that. Maybe that's something I can do after the Persona 4 streams. Alright, we, we're good. We got our Jack Frost stuff. Oh, gosh. Alright. We did what we wanted. Oh, that room just connects. Got it. There's no treasure there. Hee-ho, this is a he-no for the FCC standards and he-heckin' practices. <laughs> it's Jack Frost. It's just my son, you know, just chillin', he's vibin'. I want a Jack Frost plush, really bad. I don't have one. I don't really have a lot of merch. My sister gave me a, uh, a Jack Frost pin for my birthday. It's like a, uh... I'll, I'll have to show it on camera, but I can't show my face because I don't like when people look at my face. Let me find it. All right, I got it. I'll show it. I'll show it in a bit. What? When did you get so secretive about your face? I don't know. I don't like people looking at my face. I don't know. Move, Yusuke Senpai. I don't know, because I also look like a disgusting mess, so I just don't want people to look at me and like my gr What the heck did you do to me, Teddy? Really hurt. What did you do to me, Teddy? Why did you do that? I don't know. Like, I mean, there's photos out there of my face if you really want to know what I look like, but I don't like don't showing it off. Okay? I'm what you call a little sensitive lad. I don't like my looks. On a roll, senpai. Two defeated. Don't do that. First answer. <laughs> First thing. Don't do that. I mean, yeah, if you've seen my face, then there's no mystique to it. I'm not trying to be mystique. It's just like I don't like showing my face. I think I, I don't I don't have the looks. I'm fine with that. True, it's nothing special. <laughs> hey, hey, did you see that? Yeah, it's very basic. I'm a bounce, I don't feel too hot. Yeah, definitely lay down, do what you gotta do, dupes. Like, I appreciate you stopping by, though. Like, I had to take care of some stuff, too, so trust me. I thought I was in a level grind yesterday at your stream, but... I wasn't feeling so hot, either. I had to go on a walk and get a little physical and get my heart pumping. It's okay, man, I feel better. I don't know, treasure keys. But yeah, take a, take a nap, drink a thing... Well, I don't know. Make sure your body is a okay. Uh oh, that one's immune to darkness. <sighs> well, not anymore. Yeah, no problem, dude. Just get off. There's Mystique, and then there's Yoko Taro basically saying you don't want to know what I look like knowing a middle-aged fat guy wrote your favorite porn novel. <laughs> no, here's the thing. There are photos of Yoko Taro's face out there. I've seen it. Yeah, I, I don't blame him. I don't blame him at all. I totally get why he wants to not show his face. It's the same way I don't want to reveal my first name. No, I know that's his honest reasoning. I know. I've seen his face. I read his interviews. I get it. <laughs> I get it as a person of myself. I'm no longer the handsome boy I used to be. I'm growing older and people don't want to see that, so... Gotta... Gotta do the world a favor. It's cool to be keeping certain information to yourself. It gives you control how others perceive your identity. I respect it. Yeah, it's like... I used to be very open about it, but the as I this got older, I was just like, nah, I can't um, go on like this. Shut up, Chie. You can heal. Hold it. Look, watch. Watch this. You're fine. Just, you're fine. 
I've seen his face too, only because GDC uploaded a talk he gave there against his will, which I think was super crap. Yeah, it's crappy. It's like, it's the same with Toby Fox. You know what his face looks like, and if you search, you can easily find it, but not want to show it, I respect that. It's not really much of a mystique, it's more just, you don't want to show your face, that's fine. Like, I don't want people to look at my uh -oh, gross that one's immune to aging face and facial hair. I want for privacy, absolutely. I don't like to talk too much about myself. Even though I'll be open about certain things, there's some stuff I don't want to be open about. Because uh, there, there are people out there that want to know too much about you, and I'm not too keen on that. Like, I don't tell people. I mean, if it's a friend, I'll tell them like where I work, but I don't tell them like where. Obviously, it's just, it's a boring job. I, I'm a very boring person. Also, I promised to show you a freaking Jack Frost pin that I got for my birthday. I could have gotten a monkey for free this whole time. I'm getting a monkey. No, I should have healed. Frick! Why did I push A? I didn't want the monkey! Gosh dang it, I got a thought again. I did not want the free monkey. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it, I did not mean to push A. You welcome thought into your... <laughs> oh. Ha <laughs> ha, level up! Your heart chose for you. <laughs> it made me choose a monkey. Oh, I think monkeys are very funny. They're the funniest creatures to exist. Anyway, now that I've talked about my dumb face, I'm gonna finally show off the funny monkey. Hey Danny, welcome to the stream. I'm gonna show off my uh my my Jack Frost pin I got for my birthday. Give me one minute as I uh move the camera away from my face. Uh let me get some light. Hello. Alright. Turning on the light so it's easier to see. Let me um Find the camera. Not game capture. Oh, does it not have a video capture? It should. Yeah, there it is. There's my arm. Here we are. My Jack Frost pin. It's beautiful. Look at him. He's my little son, and I love him. I should put him on my beanie. Like, if I'm ever out in public or whatever, I'd put it on my beanie. But I don't want to lose this pin either. Like, I really love this little guy. My sister gave it to me because she knew I was really into, like, Jack Frost and stuff. And she's like, I bought this for you. And I was like, thank you. Yep. That's, that's all I have to show. I mean, I could show another thing if you guys really want me to. I mean, I got many things I can show off the camera. Um... I can show you my copy of Wild Woody I got for 30 bucks. I don't think monkeys are funny, but mainly for reasons I can't talk about on Twitch concerning their behavior. Yeah, I won't. Okay, done. Oh well. Show us those three wacky digits. I will not show those three wacky digits. Instead, you're gonna get uh, Wild Woody. The, the game. The game. I don't want my reflection to show either. But this is like 200 and 100 bucks. I got it for 30. I'm very happy with my purchase. Wild Woody stream when? When I finish with Persona 4. I'm, I'm wasting time. I should be grinding. But I own Wild Woody. It was like one of my proudest achievements of this year. They call me Woody. Wild Woody. All right, I'm deleting webcam so I don't accidentally turn it on as I put it back. Turning that off. What if one day you go live and you were just like, you expected Persona, but instead you have Wild Woody? <laughs> Maybe. I would... Hmm. I'm not going to mention my plans for the future streams. We'll, we'll see. If I do do that, that'll be the day. That would be a lot of, a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway, back to the game. Sorry. I'm wasting time. What if Wild Woody was a Persona? <laughs> I'd have him in my team. No questions asked. Now I look like a real Shin Megami Tensei protagonist. I mean, with my Oendon outfit, I, f I can fit in with Nocturne. Hey, stairs. Nope, we're gonna go here. What if Jack Frost was Wild Woody this entire time? I'd be very disappointed. <laughs> I'd be very disappointed, but... 
I guess it was meant to be. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, that one's immune Fire. to darkness. Fire. Burn, baby, burn. Go, nice senpai, move, you rock. Burn, baby, burn. Who would win, Wild Woody or Jack Frost? I really enjoy the concept of Oendon. I love Oendon. It's one of my favorite rhythm games. Y'all should play it if you have the chance. Uh, changed Arcana. Uh, I can't wait until Oendon rollback comes out. Just a bunch of guys in the street that just hype you up and get really excited for no reason. I mean. Elite beat Asian to semi like that, but more than anything. Oh, what is it? Yeah, because Elite Beat Agents is more like government agents try to save the day with dancing and just cheer you up. That's what I like about these games. Screw it. Fortune my luck increased. That was a waste. Hey Matt, so I was like a SMT version, but also someone who has a copy of Strange Journey Redux somewhere. What game would you recommend? Uh Shin Megami Tensei 4. I'd recommend that. I mean, you could play the earlier games, but honestly, it doesn't hurt to try out SMT4. But then again, Apocalypse just came out. But, hmm. I'd say I'd go for, like, vanilla That's SMT4, not... and if you really want to, like, continue or just, like, go at it again if you enjoyed it, I'd recommend Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. Good stuff. I mean, I would say Nocturne, but that's going to come out for Switch very soon, so... Yeah, everything makes no sense unless you play 4. Yeah, exactly, which is why I mentioned play uh, SMT4 before you pick up Apocalypse. Strange Journey Redux is also... Yes, Strange Journey Redux I do have. And the DS version was good, and I'm glad they remade it so people can get it on 3DS, so... If you... Why did I do this? This is not going to work in my favor, is it? Yeah, I knew it. Why did I do that? I pushed buttons like an idiot. Oh, you son of a gun! Just what I'd expect, you, senpai. Woo. I can't use ice. Wowie zowie. What a horrible... Why did I do that? Three enemies left. You can win this! Can I? Will I? The answer is no. Uh, you were saying about Strange Journey Redux? Uh, not much about it. I played a, a bit of the DS version. Why did I freaking do that? Anyway. I have to attack these losers. Anyway. Uh, Strange Journey Redux. I played a little bit on the DS. I never finished it because... Fun fact, some Atlas games are kind of hard to finish. Because I, I have a hard time finishing them, but I start a lot of them. But, uh, SMT... I think, as Danny mentioned, it's sort of its contained own thing. But it just tells a really interesting Ooh, nice story move, as its own Yusuke thing. Senpai. Like, yeah, it's not a mainline Shin Megami Tensei game, but it's still a Shin Megami Tensei game. But, I don't know. I can't really say much about it. I don't remember a whole lot. I need to play Redux, though, because I own it, but I haven't played it. Why did I freaking do this? Just two left. Should I get Come four on, or wait for Nocturne over. on Switch? Um, you can play four, and then when Nocturne comes for Switch, you'll be ready for it. Because there's no, like story it follows, per se. I mean, there is some stuff at the end of 4 that if you played, like, all the Shin Megami Tensei games, it makes sense, but it's not needed. It's not really necessary. Like, you can play 4 standalone just fine. So i just recommend 4. And then when Nocturne comes out, definitely play Nocturne. Nocturne will probably be harder, but since it's going to be a remade, it's a remade game... I'm sure there's gonna be some like quality of life stuff, or not. They might not. Who knows? But definitely uh, give four a shot. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. Also, I think digitally for SMT4 it's cheaper. I mean, if you try to get a physical one, like good luck. That's kind of expensive. So definitely just try to find a way to um, get that digitally, because I think it's twenty bucks on eShop. I think. That's my truth. That's your truth, indeed. Sensei! Man, we've been almost two hours and... Yeah, just exactly two hours, because there was a ten-minute start. Been grinding for two hours. This makes for great entertainment. 
Wish I could play SMT. I mean, you can play SMT1 as a fan translation, but there's some stuff that's kind of broken about it. Like, the game will... There's some bugs. Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Well, yeah, I figured. Beat it to a Wowie zowie. Going, guys? That's interesting, given I found a random cartridge copy of Apocalypse used at a GameStop, and that's how I got it. Like, bare cartridge. I see. I got Apocalypse because I knew once I... Strength. I knew I was going to play it eventually, but I never did. <laughs> I need to get around to Apocalypse, but I gotta just play my games. Same with SMT Redux. I buy so many 3DS games, and I need to, like, actually play through it, but... Maybe I could stream a 3D... I want to do 3DS streams, but capture cards are expensive. Apocalypse is fun. Yeah, I bet. That and 4. Yeah. SMT4 is a good entry game. Like, if you've never got into it, SMT4 is not a bad choice for an entry game to the series. Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Darkness won't work. I have skills. Rampage. I knew one of them was going to reflect. They're kind of not happening. Wait, SMT Apocalypse is like 200 bucks? I'm so glad I have a physical copy. Yes. <laughs> How did it bump up in price so much? What happened? What happened? What happened? Why did it spike? The Persona Freaks? I believe that. I got it for like $15. What the heck? Exactly! I paid much less. Like, I knew I bought Bravely Second because even though I didn't finish Bravely Default, it's like that's going to spike in price someday. And I don't know if that's true quite yet. I'm looking at my copy of ST Apocalypse right now and I'm like, thank goodness it has not... I paid way less for it. That is stupid. Oh my gosh. I'm kind of upset with this news. I'm like, why? That That's unfortunate. Like, that's why I bought um, Digital Devil Saga on Amazon while it's 20 bucks now. And same with Persona 3 Fez and like... Nocturne I would like to have a physical copy of, but... I don't think I'm in the market for that quite yet, because I have it digitally, and the remake's coming out, so... I'll just get that. But, oh my word. Like, definitely, even though things... Oh man. Game collecting is weird, especially now. And that's what I do, I love collecting games that I know, it's like, hey, this is unique and interesting, I get it, and then later on it's like, wow, this is stupid expensive, why? All right, gotta head off for bed. Have a good night. Yeah, have a good night, man. You really get me going. Have a good night, Flower. Thanks for stopping by. Definitely check out. Well, probably the rest of the VOD is grinding, but we'll see. That looked like it hurt. Game collecting sucks, and I hate it. Exactly. But yes, Matt. Based Japan passed laws that made console modding and hacking illegal. So, uh, Katsu Kitty, the sole manufacturer of capture cards for DS, aside from the original release model, had to shut down. Sounds like a good VOD. I mean, whatever whatever gets you happy, man. I... I... I have to upload those re recent VODs. I haven't done that yet. Because I'm busy. I know this weekend I'll get all the ones up, except for, like, the recent ones. Game collecting is a, it's a unique beast. I gave up on game collecting and only buy digital now. I have a home... I have a home of a grown man. <laughs> I'm glad. No, here's the thing, because I, I have this dream of actually owning a home someday to, like, put all my stuff in, because I just want to, like, deck it out with, like, like as an arcade-ish kind of room, because it's, like, I have a collection. I, I've worked on this since high school, and I'm, like, I might as well just, like, use what I have, put it in, like, a nice shelf, because I want to have, like, at least one part of the house just where I keep all my consoles and stuff, but that's just because I'm weird, and I just love to collect stuff. I forgot that owning a home is possible when you don't live in Silicon Valley. <laughs> That's true. Yes, you live in California. <laughs> and here's the thing, uh, not too, it's not too much of a personal thing, but I may end up moving to California because my sister found a place where I could end up, oh, why did I do this? 
I don't know where in California because I'm not going to disclose that, but it is an offer that my sister might buy a place given, like, my brother-in-law has a... It would probably be for, like, a little while. I won't be staying there for good. It's like the home will have, like, five rooms or something and a pool in the back. But all I have to pay is the rent that I'm paying right now, as long as I can help pay for part of it. And I'm like, hey, I can afford that. And I could find a job, at least. If it's anywhere near San Francisco Bay Area, let me know. I might be... It, it might be a couple hours away. I won't say where. It's like... It's somewhere. But if I do find out, I'll, I'll let you know if anything occurs from that. We'll see. If I do end up there, I'll I'll let you know. <laughs> it, of course, it didn't work. What the hell? It's not working. Nothing works. Wait. I'm gonna try a thing. Basically, the only way to capture 3DS footage now is to, from an emulator is carefully turned camcorder streaming rigs for those Nintendo dev kits that output video. Or if you can actually already find an already modded 3DS that somehow isn't dead yet. Yeah, I'll... I need to figure something out with that, because I would like to stream a 3DS game in the future. I don't know how, but... I'll get there. Oh my gosh, they're all on block. This is stupid. Uh, escape. I am not gonna... Stay here for too long. Hey! That's the way Yosuke Senpai. Watch as this doesn't work. No way! It didn't work. Now's your chance. Run! Yeah, just let me run. This battle sucks. This is the first time I just kind of genuinely ran from something because I was like, I'm not wasting time here. I just want to progress. What is this? There's an enemy weak to wind. Weak to wind. Perfect. Why did I do that? Okay, that's fine. I should have healed beforehand. I didn't. That looked like it hurt. All right, weakness. Let's go. Nice. Uh, recover, please. <laughs> I found a picture of uh, Jack Frost not too long ago. What was it? It made me laugh. It was going, it was like, I thought you, I, I thought, I, I used to think you were cool, ho, or something. But I remember I saw it, and then I was, um, I made a response. I just said, when I don't take my son out for McDonald's, and it was just Jack Frost being very upset. And I was like, of course I would do something like that. And everyone was like, wow, why are you so mean to your son? It's like, no, I want him to grow up to be a healthy boy. Yeah, I did put that in the Discord. I sent it to my sister, and she had a good laugh about it. I did put that in the Discord. That enemy's weak to win. Blow him away. He's fire, boy. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? It's okay. We'll fix this. So now I have no off. SP. That's not good. Come, Jiraiya. Jiraiya, be fun. There you go. Og, I found a listing for 30 bucks, but it was the poster <laughs> for SMT Apocalypse. Aw, oh, man, that sucks. <laughs> Yeah, what was it? I was trying to find a price on a game recently. What was it? I think it was a uh, Pocket Fighter on Sega Jet or Sega Saturn. That's what it was, and I was just like, "Oh, neat! That's not too expensive, but it's still kind of expensive." And then I tried to look up for like other fighting games and stuff because I was looking up like Dreamcast game. I don't know. I was looking up other games because I was thinking to get a Dreamcast soon. Well, just to mod it, most more likely. But yeah, that was a. Uh... Oh my gosh! What are you doing, hand? Dead. I chased a hand to do this. Ooh, All right. one. Don't let it get away. But yeah, I can't remember what games. There's just so many rare games I want to get my hands on, but it's just like I, I has to be at a fair price. It, Even like, 
I think I told this on stream. I may have talked about it. There was a copy of Jack Brothers from uh, Japan that was complete in box and everything, and it was at a very reasonable price. I almost got it, but then the pandemic happened, and then I got a message from the seller who was like, hey, I can't sell this game because of mailing. And I was like, hey, no worries. Uh, you just... I, I can ask for a refund and stuff. And I don't know if that listing's still up, so I missed out on getting a copy of Jack Brothers but for a rec for a decent price but what did I what did I miss what game I just got back yeah I wanted Jack Brothers cuz my my little boy I love my I love my son and I would do anything to but and that's the thing too also if you look up like plushies for Jack Frost he's like kind of expensive even if you try to buy like the new ones that they had on Amazon Japan it's like you're going to pay a lot for shipping, and I'm like, you're right, I don't want to do that. And I was sad. I don't want to reflect, no. Screw it, I don't care. I don't know, it's just like, getting Jack Frost merch is like the hardest thing. I just want to have a son. I just want to own a son. Oof, that looked like it hurt. Damn, Bap. it's not going down. Bap. Don't fight him. No, Teddy, don't Aha, talk. Level up. Neat. All right, level up. Neat. Everyone's leveling up. Everyone gets EXP. Everyone's a winner. Uh, you know that song by the Be Beatles, The Long and Winding Road? Oh, good thing I'm not gonna use wind. As long as I don't get to Yosuke and do an idiot. Oh, jeez. Why does Bap you? The worst part of searching, uh, Mirakari and it's showing old listings of $20 for the game. Oh, no. Uh, I know, like, after I stream tonight, I'm gonna, like, be looking through eBay on, like, games and stuff. It's gonna stink. But I'll try my best. To... Everything hurts. My man, everything hurts. It's so stubborn! We'll just bap it, it's fine. Oh, Jesus! Uh, Jesus, uh, Louisa! That was spooky. Was scary, even. Wow, three treasure chests. Snuff soul. Hold up. Gonna do a thing. No, that's not what I want. Gosh dang it. Didn't need to waste that. Whatever. <sighs> Careful, it's immune to electricity. Good thing I'm using ice. Enemy down. That's how nice it's done. Here, senpai. I'll do it again. Are you okay? Do you want my help? Yes, are you going to ride a scooter? <laughs> I knew it. Never mind, why did I do that? Keep it up. Don't worry. Hey -o. The Teddy Legend never dies. Sure, okay. Hey, congrats! Wow, level 55. Goodness gracious. I have been grinding forever. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna see? Funny droplets of goo on the floor. Ooh. Beyond this point is confidential. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have the card key. There's the stairs. Let's keep exploring. I'm so glad I got that. Snuff soul. There's one more chest here. Maybe I should go for that. 
Yeah. Let's just make sure I get everything, because heaven forbid I miss an item. Oh, barely missed them too. What the heck? Oh, that's not good. Darkness won't work. Heaven <laughs> Chai forbids it. <laughs> what the hell? It's not working. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice move, Yosuke Senpai. <laughs> Oh, 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 whoa, 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 Go for it, guys. Don't get cocky. We're almost there. Oh, jeez. Just keep bapping. Booping and bopping. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah, no. Just ah! been hit. Hang in there. Come on, just go bap. Up. There you go. Freaking A. That's not good. <laughs> Almost died. I could have died. I could have been killed. Wounded even. Alright, man, I gotta head out. Thanks for the stream. I'll catch you on Friday. Yeah, I'll see you on Friday. Have a good night. It is getting late. Supersonic? Like the game? Is the stairs here? It sure was. Now that we got the key, we can progress. Further down we go. Unknown intruders have entered uh, classified sector 2. Threat level red. Deploying increased guards within the facility. The intruder must be eliminated. Man, it's seriously rejecting us. We'll just have to get ourselves fired up and bust on through. I mean, that's the idea. Oh no, did I? Okay, I get. Oh no! Hang in there. No! Hell no! Oh! No -brainer. I'm sure you'll win. No, I don't believe that for a hot minute. I need water. That's some thick skin. One enemy to go. Keep it up. Come on! Couldn't quite beat it. Oh no! Hey, not bad, Teddy. Keep it up. Oh yeah, Teddy has nothing now. Freaking. I'll get it next time. Oh, hold on. Go get him. Go, go, go. I can just bap him. All right. <laughs> I get that. That's that's nothing. That was that was baby. That was baby easy. Never mind. Oh, got lucky with that hit. Nope. Careful. Screw these guys. Okay, I hate them. For an opening. Oh. Go, go, go. Uh oh. Oh no. Watch as I hit him. It's not Now's working. Your Run. Yeah, I might as well. Even though I didn't get anything from it, I don't. I don't know how to kill these dice dudes. Do I have a go home? I hope I do. Literally one left. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'll do my best. So I'll progress as much as I need to. Do I have a key? I think I do. Nope. I want to say next stream I do off stream grinding, but I doubt I will because I'm busy. Here we go. Uh oh, that one's immune to darkness. Keep it up, Sensei. Uh, 
spooked and scared. I don't know what to expect. Oh! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Have you seen the Crash 4 gameplay they've shown? I haven't actually. I have not seen the gameplay for the new Crash game. I need to I need to see what that looks like. Is it anything like the regular Crash Bandicoot games, or is it very different? I mean, I'll have to watch it. But... Uh oh, that one's immune to darkness. It's right here. Oh, I should give that a look. Why am I doing this? Oh, nice uh oh. Move, oh no. Okay, I'll look for an opening. Let's let's heal everybody. Gosh, it's very classic Crash in a good way. I'll have to give that a look. I need to, because I, I do need to use a go home. I have no SP. I mean, I want to keep going forward just to see if I can find the stairs and go down a level. Like, that's the goal. Uh, don't be hard. Don't be stu stupid. Oh, that's... Now's your chance. Run! I'm just gonna run as much as I can, see if I can find stairs. Like, it's not grinding, it's just I don't have the means. Oh no. Please don't be tanks. It's tanks again! Okay, I'll look for an opening. Just hang on, I'll find you an opening. Alright. Beat it to a pup! Now's your chance, run! <sighs> Never thought I had to run this much. That's what I get for not being mega prepared. Are you kidding me? Oh wait, these guys are baby. That enemy's immune to win. Yeah, these are baby easy. Watch this. Oh jeez. Shuffle time, baby. EXP up, sure, why not? Hee ho, my, my son's powerful once I again. The stairway to maturity. Ooh, what is that? Deals heavy ice damage to one foe. Medium. Medium? Yeah, get rid of medium damage to one foe. Bufula is dead. Yes. Now I'm powerful and pretty. You want... You want to just go home and come back the next... Yeah, I should. But I want to make progress on steps. I can't take it anymore! No one can. Alright, we're stocked up on health a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can do my best. To... I'm going off to sleep. Goodbye, stream. Good night. Thanks for stopping by. 
Yeah, we're coming up to the point in like 15 minutes where I'll have to end the stream, but... We're, we're, we'll get somewhere. Oh, not this dude. Not this dude. You... Oh my gosh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, bro, not now. Not now. What's behind this door? <gasps> Stare. Okay, how the heck am I doing this? Oh my. Oh my. Uh. Okay. Alright. Okay. All right. I'm being cautious. I'm being careful. Are oh, you detected me? You you die. Please be normal. Uh oh, that one's immune to darkness. Now's your chance. Run. Thanks for giving me that. <laughs> I, I I did not want to fight this thing. I hate these things. All my homies hate these things. Diamond shield, alright. Got the treasure I needed, now to go down the stairs. Ah, progress. Stop the intruders, stop the intruders! Okay, I can sense Naotoku nearby, just a little more to go, hang in there. Hmm. You know what? I can use a go home now, I've, I've pushed it. I need to get more go homes. <laughs> Let me save before my game decides, like, hey, I don't want to work anymore. Oh, yeah, I have a monkey persona. What can I fuse the monkey with? Register my, my son, my other son, and I'll register the monkey. Sure. What if I get Thought and Succubus? No, I don't like that. Oh wait, I haven't tried Triangle in a while. What if I get a Succubus? This, and this. Oh, no. Jim! Dude! It's the genie from Aladdin! Wow! I'm a huge fan! Dude, I loved you in that movie. I also loved you in Flubber, the Zelda commercial, and that's about it. No, Dead Poet Society, I liked that movie, even though it was mega depressing. You ain't ever had a friend like him, too bad he's level 62. Oh, what I would give to have Robin Williams on my team. Okay, what fusions were that? Genbu, Mott, and Succubus? Okay, I registered them, so... I'll remember to kid him on my team sometime. Got it. You ain't never had a friend like Robin Williams cosplaying as a trickster god, indeed. Sorry, Teddy. I gotta rest. Ugh, I have to readjust my seat for comfort. Sure am, and I'm tired. Ah, the crickets of the night. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, school. Good afternoon. As I'm sure you all know, yesterday was Respect for the Age Day. Did you all take good care of your elders? I sure did. I was in a TV all day. My grandmother is over 90, but she still gets out and sweats by playing Gate Ball. What the heck is Gate Ball? 
I just know she's gonna live over a hundred years. Heck, she's almost there. I wish her all the best to reach 100. Oh, Matt, you're a city boy. You might know this. What do you call somebody who's between 90 and 100 years old? Eight. What? The? I'm guessing a 90. No, a non. A non-genarian. I think it's non-genarian. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Hmm. I'm letting my frontal lobe try its best. It's a Nana third option. I was right, Nana. I only thought... I guess that was the right one, because I played uh, the Nonary games. Uh, nine Persons, Nine Doors, Nine Hours. I'm sure I got that title botched up somewhat. Hold on. Sorry. Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. That's the one. Wow, I'm amazed by that brain of yours. <laughs> I guessed it. I just wanted to be sure I was right. Are you close to your grandparents? I, I mean, some of them are alive, not all of them. Is somebody in their 90s? I learned that from Mr. Hosoi. Interesting, huh? Say, why don't we practice gate balls so you'll be able to play with, with your elders? <laughs> my grandma would kick my butt. I don't think I should. It is now after school. Classes have ended for the day. The fog will come after several days of rain. You must prepare to take action. I'll try my best. Saving, just in case. Teddy, you're here still. Sensei, do you know the secret of hitting on girls? I hear it's an eternal debate amongst boys. They say it's all in the first impressions. How would you handle it? I pretend to ask for the time. I'd ask them straight up. I wait for them to hit on me. <sighs> These are not good advice. Um, okay. First impressions. Um, ask them straight up is kind of like my go-to answer thing, because if you want to ask someone, hey, you look good, you tell them, but half the time that's not a good idea. Oh, gate ball. Japanese, gate the ball. Uh, is a mallet team sport inspired by croquet? Uh, interesting. It is a fast-paced, non-contact, highly strategic team game, which... Oh, that! I played gate ball before. I had a friend who uh, had a croquet mallet and everything set up, and he was like, I'm bored, let's play gate ball. Or, I guess I, I just didn't remember the name. He was just like, let's... So we went, like, ham at it. Like, I remember, I remember that. Okay. I do know what it was, I just didn't remember the name. Uh, I just asked him straight up. So you just at, take your chances? Now that's my sensei. What a man. <laughs> When I come to school, I get to hear so many different stories. It's all part of the charm of this place. School's not that great. Don't, 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 don't do that to yourself, Teddy. I could social link, but TV's important. Though I could take a day to social link. Wouldn't be too much of a hassle. Hey, there you are, Yukiko. Hey. Will you go save Naoto? We'll go later. Hmm. He doesn't actually go to school, he just shows up. I mean, even if you just show up to school, it's not really that great of... I had someone in school, in high school, I think they dropped out or something, but they kind of just didn't care. They only showed up just to hang out. He wouldn't be registered for classes. No, because I had someone like that uh, in my high school. They just kind of showed up, and I think they just smoked behind the school or something. I don't know. But... He was a cool guy, I talked with him and stuff, but he, he just failed like a majority of his classes. He just didn't take it seriously. But he just treated it as like, I'm just gonna go and hang out with my friends. He just did not care for his classes. He was a true rebel. Give me the figure, I beg of you. Give me figure. Give me figure. I want the Neko Shogun doll. That's all I want. Come on. Come on. I wonder what the school kids think. Like, who is this guy? He isn't in any of our classes and he keeps asking us for stories. I don't know. 
High sc- my high school was weird. I remember one kid, he was ready to graduate. It was like a week before graduation. Like, he was, uh, he was ready. And I knew him, and he was in my class. And then, uh, for some reason, he just gave up last minute and didn't graduate. He was just like, yeah, I don't want my, my degree. He was so close. He was basically done. He wasn't a bad student or anything. He just quit last minute. It was weird. <gasps> Ball of lightning. Got it. Ah, oh, give me big prize. Give me the big prize. Give me the gamer prize. I want it. I need it. <gasps> yes! <laughs> I got it! Oh, finally. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Time to sell items. Yes, yes. I think you mean great balls of lightning, given the items. That's true. I should have said that. Wow, I've never had this much yen before. Maybe grinding is a good thing. Well, now that I have all this yen, you know what that means. Time to get another um, cheer outfit. But I think I'm fine with the cheer outfit myself. Could buy more. But I don't think I need it. Actually. Maybe buy better weapons or armor? No. I refuse. I refuse to power up. I should. I definitely should. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Do I have any? Ah. Oh. Um. Good with you, Yosuke. Oh my word. Yes. Uh, Yukiko... no. Chie is what I have. I could give her better sneakies. Yeah, I just gave Yosuke a fish. I thought that was the best weapon for him. Kanji... Oh, Teddy. Uh, Poison Claw. 205. 218. I mean, Poison Claw would be helpful. But that hit him. Mm. Yeah, I'll give it for Teddy. Why not? Now I can buy items, which I should be doing. Armor. No! I should, but no! Oh my gosh! How long has it been? Years. Yeah, I should probably do that. First for me, because oh my word. That means no one else will have armor! Uh, I need more yen! This sucks! This is the worst! 206... I can't believe I'm not gonna have any more items. Because I need go-homes. Unless they cost too much, I don't know. Hold on. Chie... Oh my gosh, armor is expensive. I don't have this kind of money to blow on everyone. But I know my health goes down quickest the most, so the armor is definitely something I needed for sure. Let me buy items. Gosh darn it. Gosh diddly do. Alright. Let's buy some items. 
we may need like five of those. Uh, revival beads. I one one more doesn't hurt. Gosh dang it! No. Where's uh? Is there go homes? There are. Let's get a good old five. It's a safe even number. Okay, Balm of Life revives. I have four. Yeah, I'm good. And cost me too much, but still. I should say I'm at three hours of streaming. I am getting semi tired. It is eleven, but I could do maybe one more thing. Can I? No, I could social link for the day, but I don't want to waste time. You know what? I think this would be a good place to stop. Just get equipped. Or I can just go right to the TV. Let's go to Junez. Oh, for me at least. This will be easier for me, so when I grind off stream, I'm already where I need to be. Yeah, this this is going to be easier for me. Yeah, let's just get everyone at the food court. Keep up and get some more We're in. All here now. We are. Yeah, let's go. And get better armor for everyone else. I mean, I guess. I guess. I do need a grind off stream, but I didn't do that yesterday. <laughs> let's get gone, get it. Let me save. Almost 60 hours. Wowie. <sighs> that's that's a stream. That that was uh that was a whole persona stream of grinding. Probably not the most entertaining stream, like I apologize for that if that's the case, but you know you know how it goes. Sometimes you forget and life comes in your way and then you're just like, you know what? Today is the day I just grind. <laughs> Which people like, I guess. But I do appreciate everyone that stopped by. It was a lot of fun. We had some laughs. I, no, I mean you're literally on the last floor of the Secret Ladder. You made good progress. I did? Oh, really? Woo! That's good. Oh, good progress, indeed. Uh, we got some cool topics out. I showed off some stuff. We talked about games, prices... People trying to get my first name, <laughs> privacy, you know, the fun top, the fun topics, you know, what the gamers talk about. But yeah, the truth and dare stuff that was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, it is a, it is a night. I'm I'm ready to just, just kind of prep up, just get everything, so I can get my body feeling good. Truth or dare? Gosh dang it! You had to do this. You had to do a truth or dare before the end. Um, dare. Uh, I'll do a dare. You redeemed it. You, you all right? <laughs> Let's hear it. Now nah, I'm just messing with you, but like, if you want to do something, go for it. I mean, I'll do like a small thing as long as it's not too like time consuming. to get another water in gotta stay hydrated you know you know the hydration juices no like i hadn't thought of anything i was just making the jokes oh oh <laughs> well then never mind <laughs> all right well just to kind of end off the night um friday or no tomorrow dupes is gonna stream more Julep, that's what it is. I was thinking of someone else for a second because I know uh, Orange was going to keep streaming. Let's say you owe me a dare. I mean, sure. Yeah, just remind me in the stream and I'll we'll see what we can do Friday. But I thought um, Orange was going to stream, but unfortunately he's like sick right now and he needs to be off. I dare you to have a good night. I'll try my best. But yeah, sadly he won't be streaming for a bit. But I, I wish Orange the best. I hope he feels better. And then uh, Dupes is going to do more Chulip. 
And fun fact, I learned that you really do need a guide to play that game. So hopefully he makes good progress. I'll probably stop by to watch more of it instead of just bounce out. But I got like projects and stuff I want to do. But, you know, we'll see how that goes. I'll probably work on it as he's streaming just to have some ideas. Tulip Doolip is a good stream time. It is. I, I enjoyed it, and I'm glad I get to see the fun stuff about Tulip. I'll definitely try to stop by. But, yeah, other than that, uh, I appreciate all the the fun comments, arts, and everything. Um, hope everyone has a good night as well. So, hope you all have a good night. Stay safe. Uh, if you're not feeling well, be sure you get that checked out. And uh, yeah, that's a, that's about it. I'm I'm going to bed. I I gotta just get ready for work tomorrow, like I always do every day. But yeah, y'all have a good one. I'm out.